Uh, so welcome. This is episode 313 of the Clive Barker podcast, and we're returning to our D&D game, Jericho Squad 77. Uh, last time on Jericho Squad 77, the squad received an urgent request to head out to Outpost 9 in the Tunisian desert. Gregorius' folly, the pseudo-hell, now seemingly taken over by forces of the Gulfs. Uh, the squad managed to rescue Musette's cousin, Aldrin, uh, fought some shadowy demons on the second level, and headed back upstairs to rest. So that's where we're at. After the destruction of Midian, after the unraveling of the fugue, after the fall of the unbeheld and the reconciliation of the five dominions, the Jericho organization has expanded and spread itself thin, guarding the breaches and investigating anything that comes through. This Dungeons and Dragons game is the story of one of those teams. Let's begin. find yourselves kind of uh resting there in the um the, uh, there's uh, several couches and some mats on the floor it's not uh it's not super um it's not super lavish this uh this sort of yurt style tent um but uh but yeah as you're you're resting there you're free to talk to each other um Okay. Every once in every once in a while, the uh, the the imp uh, will burst in and and uh, interrupt and stuff. But uh... okay, so uh, hey, good morning, everybody. Morning. Morning. Good morning. Yeah, I'm still a little sore from yesterday, but uh, you know, at least we got rid of those two sisters. Um, so you I guys only we... rested for an hour. It's not morning time. Oh, okay, <laughs> it was just a short rest. That's right. It yeah. Feels okay. like yeah. yeah. So yeah, I guess I'm still a little sore, but you know, uh, I guess we got to go back and uh, try to get to that portal. Um, so, how's everybody doing? You'll uh, never make it to the portal. I think I'll let you lead the way this time, should have here. <laughs> okay. Just That's stay fine. with the group, Ralph. Yeah. Yeah. I find it interesting that you were so eager to kill yourself. <laughs> I, I forgot I my, the name of this thing. I had my you, stupid little friend and he was guiding me. If you want a guided tour of the Gulf, so I can take you there. I think okay. I'll pass. <laughs> Before um, we head back in, should we discuss the layout? One? Sure. How many levels are we talking again? Seven? Or are we talking nine? Yeah, Tre Tressa Arcaro. Oh yeah, uh, Tressa says that there are nine levels. Um, they're uh, they're they're um, themed after Dante's Inferno. Okay, well, I don't think I've ever heard of that fifth book. Uh, but uh, does anybody know what the next one would be? Because that would be the third one, right? Anybody here read Dante's Inferno? I no? can't read. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you should visit my library. I will gladly teach you how to read. Uh, so Tessa, what, what, uh, Tressa, what is the third level? Well, um, it's very unpleasant. It's, uh, it's where the, uh, it's where Gregorius designed the, the sewage system to enter. And it's also a garbage chute. Oh, great. Garbage. I hate manure. 
Yeah. It, uh, it, from what I understand, and Aldr- Al- and at this point, Aldrin kind of interrupts and she says, that's where my squad died. Oh, man. I'm sorry, Aldrin. Mm-hmm. And, so, uh, and... Go ahead. No, I was just, just going to say, Aldrin, what did you find on the third level? Can you give us any insight on, on what to expect? The, um... There's a pool at the end of it with bodies. Uh, there's a creature with a tentacle creature inside there. Okay. Uh, it um, can grab you and pull you in. Mm. So I guess we're going to have to fight at a distance for this one. Okay. Well, that's 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 also cool. Water based. For the third level. Uh, no, no, not exactly. There are pools, but it's not all in the water. You can, if you're careful, you can skirt around them. Hmm. Or over them, and she looks at the seagull. (laughs) Okay, well, uh, yeah. And the the imp jumps in at this point, he says, uh, so now we have the, we have finally the, uh, the two garden gnomes reunited. Two garden gnomes. He looks at uh, Aldrin and and um, Musette. So, garden gnomes, do you trust Jericho? Do you know the story of the first Jericho squad? Do you know that they killed the very first garden gnome? I have heard this story, but I would like to hear your interpretation. It was not too far from here, actually, in the in the in the empty quarter. The very first Jericho squad, uh, their whole mission was to find the firstborn, the very first garden gnome, and kill him. So, what do you think about that? What did the garden gnome do to him? I am not familiar with these garden gnomes. Tressa, do you know anything about the story of the first Cherico squad? Do you know what he's talking about? He's told me this before. He calls us garden gnomes because we seer kind are, uh, are descendants of the original garden uh, members of the Garden of Eden. Oh, I see. Okay. It's a slur. I thought we were talking about legit plastered garden gnomes. He thinks it's funny. He thinks we're we're uh, ornaments created by the creator to decorate the garden. If you, uh, you, you. <laughs> uh, okay, I would say let's ignore this imp. Um, I don't think he's giving us any valuable insight. Uh, Five fourteen. <laughs> yeah. What? What was? Do, do you know the name of this imp, Tressa? I forgot what he said he was called. It's so irrelevant. Hey, hey now. Yeah. Hey, hey yourself. She says, he's, uh, he doesn't like to say his name often, but I remember in the Squally Flume. Oh, okay, Squally Flume. Ugh, N- it sounds Nis- like a Nis- fart. Nisqually. Nisqually. Nisqually Flume. I'll just call him Fart for short. So, uh, uh, Part so guys, yeah, the you, uh, you, you get hit in the face with a, with a big wad of spaghetti. <laughs> Where did he get the spaghetti? Okay. I wipe the spaghetti off my face and say, ah, oh, when I get you, um, you don't want to know where he got that spaghetti. Oh, yuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I check my, I check my belongings and I, um, um, Handle, you know, I grab my sword, my ribbon sword, and I, I prepare myself to step outside. Okay, so I guess we're all ready to go. Ralph, what? get lost. Okay. Okay, so as you step in between, it's uh, you forget how how uh, oppressively hot it is outside because uh, you were in an, an air conditioned tent, and now it's uh, it's like 110 degrees out in the 
in the desert. Uh, you work your way back in in uh, into the um, the first level, and we can we can kind of skip ahead here because uh, I'm I'm assuming that uh, that Shurduvir is going to, you know, put ice on the uh, on the, the frost the heat, on the fire vents again, and and uh, so you can safely get through uh, the first yes. level. And uh, work your way down to the, or on the through the second level, and work your way down to the third. So there's a staircase there at the end, and you're working your way, move, make your way down the staircase into the third level. Okay. And the first thing that that uh, you notice when you get in there is the smell. I mean, you smell, uh, you sell, you smell sewage. It it smells like a pipe that's backed up. Um, <sighs> it's just, it's just awful. And uh, and the you know, as you work your way down, the closer you get there, the worse it is. I turn to uh, Jonathan Livingston Seagull and say, this this ought to smell familiar to you. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so it looks like it's kind of a. All right, guys, let's stick together. Um, oh, I heard the seagull. <laughs> Here we are. OK. Hmm. It doesn't seem like there's any traps in this, but let's be careful. Okay. Yeah, it really stinks down here. Okay. Okay, guys, let's not get too close to that pool because Tressa said. Oh, is Tressa with us, by the way? Oh yeah, we need uh, we need Tressa in here. Okay. So let's watch out for these pools because they mentioned tentacle monsters. I hate tentacles. Uh, so this pool, uh, the closer you get to it, the worse it smells like sewage. And you see a pipe coming out of the ceiling that just looks like uh, the, the sewage goes falls out of that and goes right into this pool. Where's the sewage coming from? Oh my the only tentacles I like is when I have boiled Zeharapushu from the, uh, <laughs> from the Magicka. Zarapushu are from the Great and Secret show, aren't they? Yeah, they're from Quiddity, I guess. What kind of token did you need for Tressa? Uh, she was a. She she was in the last one. She's a, a paladin. Um, I think she had a glaive. Yeah. Okay, I check my surroundings. Okay, yeah, make a make a perception check. Okay, perception check. I'm going to use the uh, thing here to... Uh, Is that uh, music too loud now? No, still? it's good. It... Okay. It's good. Perception check. Um, can you just tell me real quick? Okay, here it is. How do I uh, roll it on the D&D Beyond? Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Perception you check. Just go to the perception skill and you skill and you just click on it. Okay, perception check. Okay. Alrighty, I have a thirteen. No, seventeen. Sorry, seventeen. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, so you um, you're you're kind of right on the edge of what you where it's going to start gagging you if you get any closer. Uh, but you do see <laughs> that there's a, a path. Um, around the to the left side that it looks like you could kind of skirt around if you're careful. Mm. Okay. Um, I try using a cantrip to see if I can freeze the pool of sewage. Okay. Uh, what can what that your your um... ray of frost? Oh, okay. It, so that what you see is you can freeze little five put sections of it, but okay. it would take a long time to freeze the whole thing. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So and, we uh, have... Are, are, if you're close enough, um, yeah, once you get within 20 feet of it, you need to make a, a constitution saving throw. All right, constitution saving throw. Here we go. Constitution. Yeah. Constitution. So the, you look at the saving throw section on the left there. I see. I have rolled 19. Okay, yeah. Uh, you um, you start to gag a little bit, but you're you manage to keep it uh, keep it together. 
and you don't uh, you don't throw up as you get closer to the uh, to the pool. <laughs> okay, I saw okay. Brent. Brent just unlocked the door, so he must be here now. I have to hold my breath. And uh, anybody have any ideas? Yeah. Hmm. Certain. We could really use Brent now. Cressa <laughs> uh, says, from what I understand, there's no monster in this thing. We just need to get around it. Can y'all... Okay. Like, can y'all hold y'all's breath long enough to get around it? Uh, if, you hold your, if you hold your breath, you can make your... You can, uh, you, you can roll with advantage on your constitution saving throw. That's a good so idea. Sh should we all do that? Sounds like a plan. Okay, so um, remind me again. So I roll my constitution, and then with advantage means I can roll twice and get the best best one, right? Yeah, and take the highest number. Okay. I have rolled my constitution. 21. I think I'm going to stick with this one. So I hold my breath, and I walk taking the right path. Okay. Hey Rob, I think can I uh, can you can I can I control Tressa? Oh wait. Can I actually take the left path? Because it seems like the right path is a dead end. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You, you well, and you saw that before that the left path is the one that you can actually make it down. Yeah. Okay. So and, uh, I am. Should be able to. Oh, there's Tressa. Yeah. Yeah, I can control her now. Okay, I'm on the other side. Okay, Tressa is going to also make a constitution she she's uh she's using ralph's idea of holding her breath which is helping a lot she rolls <laughs> terribly uh so tressa even she she seems confident because she's been through here before but as she starts walking through here she kind of doubles over and throws up right into the pool huh <clears throat> yeah so she just made it smell worse yeah She says, oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> this has gotten much worse since I was here a few years ago. Oh no! Oh, no, she's, she's drowning. <laughs> she's spewing. Great effects there, Rob. So she uh, she kind of sits down over here. And uh, she, the she's kind of trying to recover. Oh, yeah. All righty. All right, guys, I know this smells bad, but if you hold your breath, you can probably make it across. Just put your hand over your nose and your mouth. <laughs> the bog of eternal stench. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's worth it a slump. Or who, who would theoretically be next? You know what? Just go ahead and go, Ralph. Okay. Okay, so Ralph, make a constitution saving throw with advantage if you're holding your breath. I'm yes. assuming you are. Okay. So you roll twice and take the higher number. Okay, 18. Plus your Wow, plus. yeah, 18, 18, cool. you're good. Plus two, so, yeah. Oh, cool. yeah, that's 20. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and mosey on through this. All right. <laughs> and and uh, you hear Nisqually kind of pipe in. He goes, isn't it lovely here? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> It's uh, not a very accurate uh, representation of the gulfs, but it's nice. It feels like home. I got 12. <laughs> 12. 12. I'm holding my breath. <laughs> okay, so make a constitution saving throw with advantage. I got 12. Oh, 12? Yeah. Okay, uh, <laughs> Musette, when, 
you you get about three quarters of the way around, and all of a sudden it it just uh, this wave of nausea hits you, and you can't uh, you can't uh, stop it. You you throw up into the in, you can throw up into the pool or in front of you or behind you or whatever. But ah, she's blowing chunks. Throw up into the pool. Well, you guys okay. don't appreciate the breakfast y'all been having. <laughs> Save that stuff. You yeah. guys are yeah. just making the pool worse. Yeah, you you guys had spaghetti um, for for uh, for lunch while you were taking your short rest. So, so that's where that's uh, so acidic. It was what was available. <laughs> yeah, that's all they had. Spaghetti for lunch. So, uh, Jonathan, you don't have to roll a constitution saving throw to fly over this uh, sewage pit. <laughs> One of the advantages of being a seagull. Uh, no, this stuff doesn't phase you at all. This is just a brunch. Uh, <laughs> yeah. brunch butter. Yuck. Okay, and, and Zoe, uh, you can make your way across. And it, everybody that's within uh, that's within twenty feet, you probably want to get over by where Tressa is because you're gonna have to save again in a few minutes. Okay. We're waiting All on right. Zoe. Zoe, you lose your life. <laughs> <laughs> How did you do that? It looks like she just jumped over the whole thing. Yeah, she just took a running uh, running long jump. Nice. That's where all the five Ks come in handy. Yeah, that's how that's how Zoe broke her foot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can you share the map again? What's that, Rob? Can you share the map again? Oh, yeah, my I forgot I'm not sharing the map. What will we do without you, Rob? Staring at each other. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd still be in bed probably. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like uh, only on 9 a.m. over there for y'all. Right? Uh, oh, right. Yeah. Yep, it's 8.50. This morning I opened my eyes and the, my phone said 8 o'clock. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Dang. We just right, over there, you're not there's... doing 410, so you don't have to, on weekdays, you don't have to be there at 7. No. All right, so... Um... Okay, so I guess I don't see any like major traps around here. I think it's safe for us to move forward a little bit more. Yeah, and there are uh, sconces that are lit on the walls, um, so you do have light. It's kind of a, a, a white hospital tile looking floor. Clean up. Um, That's I still have I still have three slots used up in my spells. Uh, should that have reset it with the short rest? No, it doesn't. Oh, so I only have one more slot. Okay. Yeah, you you only get those back in a long rest. Okay. And if you healed yourself, you have to check off the hit dice that you used because those you know those get all the way used up until you take a long rest. Sure. Okay. So looks like Musette is in the lead with Ralph in second place. I don't know what we're doing. It's the <laughs> wacky races. Yeah. Shodavir is supposed to be in front. Okay, I'm in front. <laughs> and uh... he's the tank. Go big. Go uh, go big. Go. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna go all the way down here. Holy shit, guys! You're Dressa. not gonna believe this. Dressa. Oh my god, guys. Oh, this is yeah, not so, good. Um, what the hell you, is this? You, uh, you kind of stumbled right up to the uh, right up to the beginning of the, the trash pit. Oh, That's a pit? So, pit. Ma m yeah, make another constitution saving throw. Oh, boy. Maybe you guys should let me go first. This seems to be like my kind of place. Yeah, okay. and, and, uh, and, and Ralph, um, also you need to and use that. Everybody that's within 20 feet of it needs to make a constitution saving throw. With advantage or not? Uh, yeah, if you're holding your breath, it's with advantage. Okay, let me try one We're more covering time. your face somehow. Okay, I got, I got 19 ah. on my second oh, throw. Oh, pretty good. Ralph yeah, got... you you managed to keep it together again. Ralph uh, has a 15, one throw. Uh, yeah, so Ralph is 
you almost hurl, but you managed to, to not, so you're you're okay. Yeah. Um, you guys see this is a much tighter uh, squeeze trying to get around this garbage pit uh, than yeah. than the the previous one. So if you want to scooch around on the northern part of the pool there. That was right. We shouldn't have had spaghetti. Or actually, you might be able to even go around the southern part. Um, I, think that... I can't tell. Rob, is that... Uh... Did you see me move there? Oh, yeah, yeah. There you are. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, um... I'm holding my ribbon sword just in case. Okay. Yeah, I was going to yeah, say this. So... Is... Okay, there we go. Yeah. So if you, um, you, yeah, you, you, uh, there's a little bit of a dead end you see ahead if you go around the northern part, but the southern part you can, you might be able to squeeze around it. Okay. So I'm going back here and I'm going back to this area. Okay. I'm going to the southern part. Okay. Um, and, uh, can yeah, I? And Jonathan, this doesn't bother you at all. You're, I was going to say, I was, I'll, I'm going to stealthily try to fly okay. and land up there. Okay, Ryan. make a stealth roll. Wow, ten. <laughs> okay. Total. Yeah, you, you, uh, <laughs> you, you try to be stealthy, but you can't hide your excitement and all this garbage, so you yeah. gotta yell out. <laughs> 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 coo, coo, coo. Oh, uh, cuckoo this, for cuckoo puffs. Even for you, though, this garbage looks years old, so mm -hmm. it's a little, uh, it seems a little probably not the best. Not appetizing. Uh, yeah. This was a bad year, this vintage. Ah! So, um, so... Uh, Chertovir, when you get up to that um, that really narrow spot, you'll have to make a dexterity uh, check. See if you okay. can, or you can make you can make an acrobatics check to try to get around it. Acrobatics. Okay. Yeah. Acrobatics check here on my. Uh, okay. Yes, I have. Yeah. I've rolled a seventeen. All right. So you're able to nimbly sort of skip right over that uh, that part and. Uh, and you manage to make it over to the uh... ledge. Yeah. Okay, so I'm getting a little dizzy. I'm going to start breathing again. Can we just set all this trash on fire? Uh, you, you can definitely try that. Yeah. So, Chirdovir, <laughs> you made it over to here. Can I can I cast mage armor, or do I have then to wait for that? Then we blow out the fire. It lasts eight hours, so you it's should still, still have it on. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, because we only rested one hour. Cool. Yeah, it's kind of so, set up to be an all-day thing. <laughs> yeah. So, Chirdovir, you're um, you the part you skipped over is where the water is touching the rock there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. There's more than one of those. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, there's I, another I one you. right there. Okay. So, yeah. So the next one, you make another dexterity check to get around that one. Okay, another dexterity check. Uh, let's see. Was it acrobatics or dexterity? Oh, acrobatics, yeah. Here we go. Which is, I have rolled. Yeah, dexterity based. Wow. What? Yeah, that one. What is uh, a B? You... A natural 21 plus 2, 20. Uh, natural yeah. 20 plus so, 2. So 20. that one, you were able to kind of uh, sort of rock climb around the uh, the water there. I rock climbed on the pool the other day. All right, <laughs> well, let's see. Okay, I am here. Okay, and there's only uh, there's only one more if you uh, right near the edge there. I see it. I see it. Ah, oh, this is tricky. Yeah. Okay, let me move towards it, and then another acrobatics. Yep. Okay, let's see. Okay, nineteen. All right. I'm the uh, lanky yeah. so you, spider yeah, with, with a 19. You you uh, pretty nimbly get around the that and and you make it to the other side. And if you can get yourself uh, 20 feet away, then you won't have to make any more Constitution saving throws to avoid throwing out. Okay. All right. Who's next? Who's next? Well, I think it's uh, Musa. I said uh, Zoe. Zoe's next. 
Okay, Teresa's. Okay, go ahead, Zoe. Now, am I going to have to do the uh, acrobatics like he did, or what yeah, are we doing? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Unless you have but, some other way that you want to get around it. Oh, it's such a klutz. Let's try this. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. Come on, Zoe. Come on. Okay. Uh -oh. So on the on the first one. Uh, Zoe's uh, foot has got a little bit of a twinge in it. And you you step into the into the garbage water. So you just feel it kind oh. of permeating into your shoe and your sock, oh. and you're like, oh man. But uh, you you get around there. <laughs> She's puking. Okay. Yeah, what's what's the? Oh yeah, did you make a make a Constitution saving throw already? Let's try this. Come on, give me good. Five oh. again. Oh. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> stepping into that, uh, stepping into the water there, you forget to. Well, did you roll twice? Are you holding your breath? Is it, if you are, you could roll twice and take the higher number. Um. Yeah, I guess I can hold my breath. Okay. Okay. Six, you don't seven, have to. Two, again. Yeah. See, there we go. That's a lot better. Seventeen. All right. So you oh. you managed to you feel it a little bit, but it, you you push it back down. Push it back. Zoe. Yay. Get out okay. of the water. Oh, she just dipped her foot in there, or did she actually splash in there? Uh, she she uh, she just dipped her foot in. I said, am I going to the first ledge and then rolling acrobatics again to get yeah, the other way? Yeah, yeah, acrobatics or... for each one of those. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Come on. Mom needs a new pair of shoes. Literally. <laughs> thirteen. All right. Yeah, thirteen. Right. You uh, you do step in it again. It's the same. It's the same foot though. Oh well. I do okay. believe you got the vapors. <laughs> yeah, they're floating right on up. Okay. <laughs> And okay. then one more up at, over at the end there. Right. right there? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, no, no. Uh, towards the end. There's another one. A really tight spot there. Yeah. Right there. Okay. All right. Our time's a charm. Come on, let's do it. Okay, so ooh, okay. 14. Yep, you stepped in it again. You're not feeling you're not uh, feeling super confident with your soggy foot. Uh, Tressa managed okay. to hop over the first one, over the second one, and then on the third one, uh, she gets distracted by Zoe stepping in and she slips and falls in completely. Oh. Ew. Okay. Uh, and she she. Uh, Stands up and she's retching all over the place and and uh, she says, "Help me!" Oh, God. Okay. Well. All right. Let I'll use Mage forward. Hand to like help her lead her out. <laughs> okay. You know, like a like a distressed Southern Belle. Right. Uh, give her a hand. <laughs> yeah. So she'll make an acrobatics. Or, well, what would that be? I don't know. Nah, probably not anything. Yeah, she looks, so she um, she just kind of walks out with the, holding the mage hand. Yeah, I guess that would be a. I, I scan the surface of the waters to see if there's any movement. So she manages to get out of there. Yeah, any eyeballs popping up? <sighs> Bubbles. She says, "Well, it seems like uh, make a perception check." Who so me? It seems it, it. Well, it seems like. Uh, it seems like I'm gonna have to get another one of those shirts. Seventeen. Okay. okay uh, yeah, you do, you don't see any movement or anything in this trash pit. It's just full of garbage. Okay. Yeah. It has any? Does it look like anybody has or anything has been moving around here? Like, are there footprints or tracks in the dust? Or does uh, it look pretty abandoned? No, you, you don't see anything like that. Okay. Not, not here. Not at this point. Um, and Ralph and Musette, do you want to go across? Okay, so, um, is there a reason why everyone was taking the south 
way as opposed to the, the There's a, a really long, uh, sort of a dead right. end at the end of the northern way. Right. But so, up till I mean, that dead end, is it easier? It is, yeah. Okay, I'm going to take the north. Okay. Uh, so what do I need to do to get started? Because there's like a little bit here. Did, did you already do your constitution saving throw for getting up close to it? Okay, so yeah, you you dry heave. You've already kind of lost your spaghetti, but um, you, you dry heave a little bit. <laughs> lost and your you, spaghetti. <laughs> you you yeah, make it all the way to the uh, to the very first area. The, actually, there's a, there are two tough. There's a there's kind of a tough spot here by that torch in the uh -huh. the curve there. Okay, so I need to do what's in acrobatics. Uh, no, that one's okay. It's actually you. You you, uh, you can make it all the way to the next curve um, on the right there. Yeah, we're we're okay, uh, Rob with that circle. And there, you need to make an acrobatics check. Okay. So you, you might want to get closer to me because otherwise they're gonna you're you're sitting there inhaling those those vapors. Yeah, you you also can fly. It's <laughs> just a. Yeah, but my flying's only sixty feet, so I can't. Really I'm, I'm pouring anything. stuff out of my shoe. Uh, no, <laughs> okay, I think so is that is that the sixty feet? I think is that your flying speed? No, it's just the sixty feet. You can Here fly you a total of sixty feet, and then yeah. you're done flying. Yeah. It says, well, no, wait, hold on. It says concentration up to ten minutes. Uh, target gains of flying speed of sixty feet for the duration. Oh, yeah, so that means you can go 60 feet, feet in a round, minutes. not not like 60 feet total. Oh, I thought it was 60 feet total. I was saving. No, it for the you end can that. fly like 10 minutes. You could. That's a long time. Oh, oh okay. You could probably fly all over this. Yeah. Okay. So then let's uh, do that. I just hit okay. pass. Uh, okay. yeah, yeah, and it should use up a charge on your liar. Okay. And then I just go. I thought it was 60 feet. Okay. If you wanted to make a strength check, you could try to carry uh, Ralph across. Ralph. Yeah. But you, if you if you fail, then it's really bad for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't been rolling very well today, so let's okay. not cancel that. Okay. Uh, okay, so I guess I'm gonna go up there and I'll take the south way. Okay. So yeah, three uh, three acrobatics checks for each uh, each point there. Acrobatics. Do I have? Is that a uh, something that we already have? Yeah, it's the very first skill on the oh. list of skills okay. in the middle there. Dex okay, dexterity plus one. All right. God damn it! Got <laughs> six. Um. Who did? Oh, I see one that says fifteen. Oh, maybe that's an old one. That's what oh, I no. did. Oh I, I, I have my dice. Oh, oh, okay. So you got a six. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> you uh, you slip and you fall down on one knee into the garbage water. Ah. Uh, How deep is that? Because he's got the big stone hand on him. Yeah. Well, on the on the edge, um, okay. on the edge, it's not that deep, but it looks yeah. like it gets deep really fast. It's a, a steep. Uh, Steep pitch, pretty gross. Yeah, and okay. and the, the stone hand doesn't feel heavy, uh, to Ralph. It's uh, okay. it, it, it's uh, compensating, you know, okay. by giving him, uh, by making itself lightweight for him. This it could my... use the two fingers and start paddling. <laughs> is this my next? Is this my next throw right here? Feel like. Uh, yeah, yep. Yeah, one. Yeah, do another one. Uh, plus one is eight. <laughs> okay, yeah, you you slip in it again. <laughs> Same kind of deal. Ah, uh, damn it! Uh, At this point, you might as well just wade through. Yeah, you could. <laughs> but it's uh, it's also slippery because it's a steep slope down into the center. Okay. So you might Hold end up, up swimming, oh, like uh, Tressa did. That's fine. Okay. Well, uh, hold on. I can levitate him if he's close enough to the wall. He can use the wall to. Oh, to push him himself over. along. Yeah, to push himself along. Okay. Are you uh, gonna do Ralph, that? Do you need that or no? 
I mean, I'm not opposed to, you know, living in filth, but I'm cool with this too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's more y'all's problem than mine. Okay, next roll. <laughs> Uh, was two. that a one? <laughs> I thought it was a one. It is a one. <laughs> okay. Jesus. Yeah, that's okay. that's exactly what Tressa did. Uh, you slip and <laughs> you slide right into the middle of the of the. Well, uh, you're on the end because it's your last one, so you're kind of more in the middle at the edge there. <laughs> and exactly what happened to Tressa? You're kind of floundering there in the in in the pool, uh, swimming, trying to get back up again. Uh, Spewing your spaghetti. Yeah. So now, uh, make an athletics check uh, to 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 swim back to uh, to swim back to a place where you can get a foothold. Athletics. Come yeah. That's going to be a plus oh one. Can, can I just take a moment to thank Rob for the amazing map? Thank you, Rob. Yeah. Uh, I rolled a nine. Well, eight okay. plus one. So. Oh. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. You. Uh, you take in a little bit of garbage water, uh, but you manage to swim over to the edge, and uh, it's Yuck. not feeling too good. Well, I went swimming in my own brunch, guys. Hey, Zoe. Yeah. So, yuck. You, um, Ralph, you take four points of uh, of damage just from of poison damage from damage. drinking the the garbage water. That was gross, even by my standards. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. Does being a lizard person like have a, any immunity to like uh, disease or something? Huh? No, I just don't taste anything. Okay. <laughs> as far as my health is concerned, I have no idea. <laughs> all right, are we all across? Yeah, yep. that would be in the in yep, the little yeah. box next to your armor class. There's defenses, so you where you're immune or resistant to stuff, it'll say on there. And I am heading over there. So I would like to kind of sneak up and poke my head around the corner. Zoe, are you done uh, spilling things out of your boot? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Catch up. Okay, at this point, Cressa says, be careful, this is it. Okay, so and I'm going to kind of sneak a, up around here. You see a massive pool with uh, bodies floating in it oh. um, all over the place. Oh, God. And so I'm hidden in 19. I'm just kind of slipping in the shadows and poking my head around. And uh, Ralph, where you're at, make a perception check. Uh, I rolled a 20. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Well, with a, with a natural 20, uh, you make out some of the members of your old squad. Um, oh. That, uh, that, well, one member of your old squad, um, Fiddler Hustev, the, uh, the old leader of your squad, is lying there in the, in the pile uh, on, the, on the lower... Um, on the, the southern part there, that big heap. Uh, he's there. You can see his rifle is on him still. I got a bad feeling about this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what a wonderful um, smell you've discovered. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, okay, hold so there's on. There's a rifle. Okay, that's, that's nice to know. I would like to may not be loaded. Um, cast Minor Illusion and make it just look like there's a small dog or medium-sized dog kind of standing on the edge right there. Oh, Here. wow. Okay. Um, Thinking ahead. Yeah. Uh, as soon as you do that, I guess everybody roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's getting real. Initiative. Is that the uh, saving throw, INT? It, no, uh, initiative is next to, it's near your armor class there. Okay, I see it. Okay, I have rolled five. Okay. 
Did I roll? I don't know if I rolled a six or a nine. The dots. What's your initiative? Minus plus two. Man, Rob, way to go on just the random illusion plus two. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, that's great. Aww. You're always right on. Dang, no matter awesome. what kind of weird stuff I think of. Yeah. <laughs> it's a shrimpy dog. But this was not that weird. <laughs> okay, I got four total. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so um, Musette was four. And uh, and Chirdovir was five. Is that right? Uh, I rolled. Um, oh, it should be in there. Can you see? Can you see the roll that I did? Oh, I think it was. Uh, I think it was six. Six total. I think so. Yeah. Why don't Why don't you just go ahead and roll again? Okay. Sure. Okay, Jonathan. I rolled a twelve. Okay. Jonathan and, is 13. Okay. Wow. All right, and Zoe and, and Ralph, you, you had, what did you get? Ralph is at an eight. Eight total, okay. And um, Zoe? 17. Weird, okay. My, I, I type stuff and some other different numbers are popping up in here instead. Okay, Ralph had an eight. So we had 17. And I need more. So I'll just do it right on the thing. Wow, Tressa got a 19. Okay. Okay. Um, you, you do start to see. Uh, some bubbling come up um and you have you if you want to take an action before the uh bef before the before stuff starts happening you can or you can just wait and see so we got bubbles happening in the middle yeah yeah the the the, uh, the dog illusion seems to have triggered something mm. that is so of here go get it yeah. <laughs> so, are we looking to kill? Do we have to kill it, or could we sneak around it? Uh, it looks like this is a dead end. Yeah, because it's uh, oh it's yeah, I guess way we across. Search yeah. the bodies. So I guess right. if we kill this thing, we gotta go swimming through the garbage again to get out of here. Yuck. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm approaching. Oh, actually, there's a way to get around it, isn't there? Oh, is I see a guy on the bank, um, on the edge of the lake. Is that the uh, Ralph's? Ralph, is that is that your uh, your old squad leader? No, is it's that... one of the it's one of the people in the pile to the okay. bottom. At the bottom. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Where are you guys okay. going? Yeah, um, it looks like that's the way around. Yeah. It's okay, you guys. Can... That's. Yeah, that's, um, the Tressa says, stop, what are you doing? Where are y'all going? Well, where else are we going to go? Well, All right, nowhere. So, uh, <laughs> okay. a, a tentacle shoots up out of the, uh, out of the pool, and it was originally heading for the dog, but now it's heading for Ralph. Oh, oh snap. <laughs> Fate presence, go. Yeah. I cast protection from evil and good. Uh, well, now uh, now we're on the Odd Young's turn. Yeah. Okay, I see him. Ooh, that's really cool. So it, it, uh, <laughs> it is how well. you're getting to meet Brother Porgus. Okay. Okay, so a tentacle flies out at uh, Ralph. It, it gets um, 18. Does that hit? What's your armor class? Armor class. Oh my god. Uh, where, where, where's my armor? It should be. Or the top. top right in the shield looking thing. Yeah, in the shield looking thing underneath your walking speed. Oh, armor class is 14. Okay, so yeah, you, you get hit. Um, How much damage do I take? 
take uh, 12 damage and uh, make a um, make a uh, in, and it's trying to grapple you so to escape a grapple you can make either an acrobatics or an athletics check so you're either trying to dodge out of it or you're trying to pull your way out depending on whether you're stronger or more de- you know more dexterous so you pick whichever one's higher Acrobatics or athletics? Yeah, athletics. Which one? No, they're both the same. Both plus one. Okay. So a ten. Ten total. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, it's got you in its tentacle. Uh, <laughs> you bastards! Okay. Um. Well, it was a good idea. <laughs> Rams. <laughs> so everybody goes wandering off. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, no, but that's why. Why is this stupid the dog, dog ruling? Right? You're here. The dog was the Are spy. Right here? <laughs> Should have here okay. asked me a stupid ass question. I wanted to go see what he was pointing at. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I, I shoot Ray of Frost at the tentacle. Okay, well, it's not your turn. Okay. <laughs> okay, Tressa goes next. Um, so she goes over here and she pulls out her pistol and starts firing at it. Awesome. That's a 14 to hit. I need a gun. That missed. So she missed. She fired at it, but uh, it looked like it just kind of glanced off of its skin. Oh, huh. okay. Uh, and that's that's her turn. Uh, Zoe is next. All right, well... I kind of wanted to do the protection against evil and good, but I mean, he's already taken a pretty big hit. So maybe I will change that to a healing word. Okay. Anybody go ahead and cast that. On uh, Ralph? Yeah. Okay. He's thrashing around like Bella Lugosi with the the tentacles, beast. (laughs) Uh, uh. I'm afraid of what this guy's going to do with his free tentacles. Yeah, what is it with you getting grabbed by stuff? (laughs) I can't help it. People want me. (laughs) All right. Um, Yeah, so you get, uh, Ralph, did you get your nine hit points back? Yes, I'm uh, I'm at 15 and 23 now. Okay, uh, Jonathan is next, and then Shrudovir will be after that. All right, I'll t- pop my head around and do a chromatic orb of fire at the Otiok. Okay. And I rolled a natural 20. Whoa, okay. okay. Uh, roll damage, what, what which, uh, oh, fire, yeah. So roll, uh, roll your dice, your damage, and double that, and then add your modifier to it. Or no, I'm sorry, we're just doing double damage. Yeah, so right, double yeah. damage, it's still 30. Okay, wow. Okay. Right in the face. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, looking at you. It's Suddenly, this, uh, this bird is a target now. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Squawk. Yep. Uh, Jonathan, or is that the end? Is that your your turn? Uh, well, if it's looking at me, I'm gonna duck back behind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my turn. All right, uh, Chertovir, and Ralph will be up next after Chertovir. I'm going to cast Ray of Frost at that thing in the background. Okay. Uh, what's the range on Ray of Frost? Let's see. One second, Ray of Frost is 
Uh, Looks like he's about 35, 60 feet. 40 feet away. Oh, it's yeah, range area, 60 feet, one action. It's a camp trip. So okay. I shoot Ray of Frost at him, try to slow him down so he doesn't shake, you know, Ralph so much. Like, uh, thrashing. Can you see this? <laughs> Let's see a Ralph right there. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> not much else okay. I can do from here because I don't have a gun. Well, so roll to hit with it. Okay, roll to hit with Ray of Frost. Yes, sir. I will roll and I get a 10. Okay, yeah, the, you uh, you missed. That went, unfortunately, it went wide. Okay, Ralph's turn. Uh, okay. Sorry, uh, Ralph. I'm already stuck in this thing. So... Yeah, yeah. So you you can, it's got you grappled. Um, so you can, but you can still attack. Uh, I want to give it a hellish rebuke. Uh, that is a reaction. It's a reaction. So you do that when you get attacked or whatever. I know. Shit done for a reroll. Bay presence. Since he's got me, it works within ten feet, but he's got me grappled, so it works right. Uh, what is that? Once per short rest, which I haven't used yet, uh, as an action, you can cause each creature within 10 feet cube from you uh, make a wisdom saving throw of DC 12 or become charmed or frightened by you, your choice until the end of your next turn. Uh, each creature within 10 feet of you? Yeah. Yeah, so he um, he's a good 30 feet away from you. I mean, his tentacle is right there, but... Oh, he's got me by the tentacle. Okay, so I don't have yeah. him. I'm not close to him. <laughs> Yeah, Fuck! All right. Well, then I'm just going to bash at his this. Uh, I'm going to take my sickle. And I'm going to uh, smash all over this uh, tentacle. And uh, what do I roll? My regular die. Yep. Okay. Eleven. Uh, twelve, thirteen, twelve. Um, so yeah, I, I rolled an eleven. Okay, um, yeah, 11 just kind of slides right off of him. Damn, my sickle did uh, nothing. And, and it, it, at the end of your turn, you can make another athletics or uh, acrobatics check. To get, actually, no, it takes a, an action to do that. So, yeah, yeah, um, you used your action to attack him, so you're still grappled. Oh, damn. Okay. okay. All right, and next is uh, Ralph. Or, I'm sorry, Ralph already went. Musette. Uh, where'd it go? I don't know why I was so far away from it. Okay, so, uh, Wall of Fire. Is that uh, to do okay? All right. I can make it up to 60 feet long, uh, 20 feet high, 1 foot thick, or a ring it wall is 20 feet in diameter. You said your microphone is muted, so we're listening to you from another microphone. Does that sound better? Or yeah, does it? Oh, yeah, okay, that's I wasn't. The one you had on your mouth was disconnected. Yeah, I was on mute. <laughs> oh, okay. So I just we didn't know if it was creating from, an echo. We were echo. hearing you from Joe's microphone then. Uh huh. Okay, sorry. So you want me to start over? Oh, uh, no. I think it sounded like you were going to do Wall of Fire. Uh, yeah. Since it's 60 feet long. Right. But the 20 feet in diameter, I mean, does that mean from the middle here? And then 20 feet around, or does it mean that it's only taking up four squares, if that makes sense? Because the four squares total equals 20 feet. Oh, yeah, right. You know what I'm so asking? If it's a ring enclosing someone, then it's a 20 foot diameter, or you can do From the middle, it's 20 feet out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Around. Copy that. Okay, so uh, let's do, yeah, 20 feet in diameter. It's not going to enclose the whole thing, but I mean, it's not okay. going to, you know get his tentacles, but I'll still get around him. Uh, so, gosh darn it. Okay, so it's 11. Do I need to add anything to it? Um, oh, what are you rolling for? Oh, wait, I just cast it, right? Yeah, Sorry. I think that just happens. There we go. 
Okay, there we go. And and I, and I think if there's cast. a saving throw because he's in it, like his he's got a tentacle stretched out to Ralph, mm -hmm. so that will be right through the fire. So if he's got okay. a saving, if there's a saving throw for getting hurt, he has to do that. Yes, it says when the wall appears, each creature within its area must make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. He can do that. He can try. Whoa. Okay, he got a 19. That. It says on a failed save, a creature... Okay. At, or half as much damage on a successful save. So you have okay, a successful so, save. So Your roll damage, damage and, and he'll take half. Yeah, it's 5d8. Wow. So, okay, yeah. Can you roll that? Yeah. Okay, so... But it's the 8 five times? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, 2 plus 0. Okay, so 2... Wait, plus oh, one. It does a ten. Huh? It's a twelve. What? Yeah, the zero. The zero is a ten. Uh, yeah, oh. so you're rolling a ten-sided die. Mm -hmm. Oops. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Which is the? Yeah, okay, wait. Two. No, the eight is this one. Yeah. yeah. The eight is the is the pointier the, version. The, yeah. Okay, sorry. Seven then. Uh, plus two is nine. Uh, plus five is fourteen. Plus four is eighteen. Plus one is 19. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. Oh, and then divide it by nine. two, right? So he'll, right. he'll take, uh, he'll take nine damage if we round down. Um, and so what that looked like, because he's, the way he's trying to see his dexterity saving throw is him trying to dodge his tentacle out of the way. And his tentacle has Ralph in it. So I'm gonna... Um, he so he jerks his tentacle up to avoid getting burned, and it, it get burned gets burned a little bit. But he's flinging Ralph up in the air. So now you're kind of up about uh, twenty feet up in the air in the tentacle. Jesus. Okay, uh, and now it is his turn. And let's see, monster. Yeah. Hang in there, Joe. I mean Ralph. Okay. <laughs> So it grabs a tentacle at the dog, and uh, goes that goes through, and so it can't um, can't it, he can't get hold of the dog. So then he's now he's gonna grab at Tressa for his second attack. That's a pretty big tentacle. I hear that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, he hits, and he does. Uh, 14 damage to Tressa. Okay. And um, she's going to make a strength check to see if she gets grappled. Or she will do... She'll do athletics because she's strong. 14. No, she doesn't. She gets. She's grappled. So he's got. A, he's got Tressa in one hand and uh, and Ralph in the other. And that's the end of his turn. Okay, and it's uh, it's now Tressa's turn. Uh, she's grappled and she's going to s slash at it with her blade because uh, the tentacle's right there now. So 16, I believe that just hits. Yeah. I'll roll for damage right on here. 14 damage with your glaive. And she uh, didn't want to waste her chance to attack by trying to get out of the trap. So she did the same thing as Ralph. She would rather attack. Okay. Uh, Zoe is next, and then Jonathan will be after that. Guiding bolt. <laughs> All right, that's a good one. Thirteen. Uh, thirteen misses. Oh wait, that yeah. says damage. Yeah, you got to roll to hit first. 
Oh, uh, that's damage. Uh, the hit is nine. That definitely okay. didn't hit. Yeah, that missed. Okay, Jonathan. All right, I'm just going to rinse and repeat. Oh, uh, chromatic and, orb. Okay. Yep. Pop up there. Chromatic orb. Fire. Ooh, and I missed. There's too okay. much fire. <laughs> okay. Uh, and Chertovir. Duck back. And then Ralph will be after that. Okay, let me see. Do I have anything here interesting enough to... Okay, yeah. I'm going to cast Magic Missile. Okay. Uh, that hits automatically, so you don't have to roll it. You just have to roll the damage. Okay, let me roll the damage for that. Magic Missile is 1d4 plus 1. Uh, and and it's times eight. times three missiles, though. Okay, that's two for the first one. And um, th four for the second one, so that's six. Um, okay. Let's see. And the third roll gives me a four, so that's ten. Ten damage okay. points. All right. How many spell slots do you have left now? Uh, zero. Okay. <laughs> you still you still have your cantrips and you yeah, have yeah, your yeah. guns. Oh I no, do you don't have guns. guns. Everybody yeah. else has guns. That's the except thing. Except for I'm... you and Jonathan. Okay. Range my ranged attacks are limited. Yeah. Okay, uh Ralph is next. Ralph, you're uh 20 feet up in the air uh held by the this tentacle over the pit of uh, dead bodies and a ring of fire. Well, there's a Sunday morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of like going to Baptist church. <laughs> I think you're muted, Joe. Apologies. Oh, there I'm we gonna, go. I'm going to use Eldritch Blast. Okay. That, that has 120 foot range. Yeah, rolled a hit. Rolled a 10. Uh, okay, 10 total? Uh, I rolled a 10. What do I add to that? Nothing. It's on, yeah, well, it's on your uh, elder, on, on the spell there. It'll say what your to hit bonus is. Oh, plus four. So 14. That 14. still misses, though. Oh, damn. Okay, Musette is next. Cool. Uh... I would say kill it with fire, but you already did that. <laughs> yeah, that fire is still up, right? Uh, yeah. No, it says up to one minute. I don't know if it's been a minute. Yeah, no, it hasn't. Um, a, a minute is like ten rounds of combat. So, uh -huh. okay. wow, we're on round two still. That's cool. So he's gonna. He's got his tentacle. Actually, it's up over his head. So his tentacle's not. One tentacle's not in it. But the one with Tressa is still in it, so he he'll take damage again on his turn. Okay, yeah, it says uh, on it says one side of the wall selected by you when you cast the spell deals five eight, uh, five d eight fire damage to each creature that ends its turn within ten feet of that side mm -hmm. or inside the wall. Oh, the creature wow. takes okay. the same damage when it enters the wall for the first time on a turn or ends its turn there. The other side of the wall deals no damage. I don't know okay. if that makes a difference. Yeah, no, that he's uh, he, he he grabbed at Tressa, so he's gonna he's gonna take damage at the end of his turn if he doesn't get okay. out of there. And I'm not close enough to really do anything because everyone else that he's holding is up above. You, you can do ranged attacks on him. I mean, you're not gonna Wait, hit Ralph because Ralph is up in the air. Actually, so I should we should move Ralph kind of more directly above the. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that like that. Well, the pistol. I don't know if it would even do anything. But yeah, can I shoot you, the pistol at the, the? Yeah, you've got silver 50. bullets in there, and so far they've yeah. been effective against the fiends. Okay, so let's go with that pistol. Okay. Roll the okay. hit. What am I doing? Here it is. 
20. Okay. Uh, was that a natural 20 or 20 total? Yes. That was natural 20. Oh, wow. So, yeah, you, you, uh, you roll your damage and then double it. Okay, and the damage is the four. Uh, the, is or... it a, I thought it was more than that. Let's oh, wait, see. hold up. Sorry. 2d6. Yeah, plus... Uh, um, yeah, 2d6 plus, plus something. Plus two. Yeah, okay. Okay, so it's... Okay, two plus three is five. Seven total. Okay, uh, and you double that to 14 because it 14. was a critical hit. Oops, that's... Go. 14. And we I have a chart for critical hits to see if any and there's any other effects on him. It's a nine. Okay. Uh yeah, you that that kind of knocked him off balance a little bit. Uh so the next person that attacks him has advantage. On an, on an attack roll. So the next attack roll against him has advantage. Okay. All right, and it's his turn. And actually, I think he's he's it's if he's starting his turn in the fire, which he is. He's gonna. Can you roll the the fire damage again? Well, it's end. It's end of turn or move through it. Oh, okay. Well, he but he moved through it to grab Tressa with his tentacle first time. So I guess we need the damage for that. Okay, and he, that is a. It's like five d eight, right? The five d eight fire damage to each creature that ends its turn. Yeah. Right. Or moves into it, and or he kind of moved. Well. He, yeah. I, I, I'm gonna. I'm saying that reaching his tentacle through the fire to grab Tressa He's giving was giving him damage. A, yeah, it was it. So we'll we'll want the damage for that. Okay, copy that. Okay, so five d eight. Now that I know what the eight one is. Okay, three plus three is six. Plus four is ten. Oops, not three times. Plus one is eleven. Plus eight is nineteen. Okay. Wow. Exactly the same as last time. Yeah. You have well balanced dice. Okay. Um, so yeah, he took some damage, and now it's his turn. Uh, he's going to take Tressa and um, Ralph and smash them together. Ow! <laughs> okay. So um, make a Constitution saving throw. Uh, both, yeah, Ralph and uh, Ralph and Tressa. And Tressa, yeah. So I got to deal with Tressa's. This one. The twenty-sided die. Yeah. Plus your plus your Constitution saving throw bonus, which I think is pretty good bonus for a lizard man. Lizard. Uh, I got plus two on my Constitution, so eighteen. Okay. All right. I'm just, yeah. So you passed and you take half damage. So, um, actually, and Pressa did also, she passed also. So uh, was, instead yeah. of 21 damage, uh, both of you each take um, 10. Oh, man. That brings me down to 5. Ooh, yeah. Tressa's kind of hurting, too. All right. Uh, and it's her turn. And she's going to attack it with her glaive again. Nineteen hits, and I'll do the damage on there too. Twelve damage. It is uh, 
starting to kind of writhe around a little bit. So it looks like the fight's not is uh, the fight's kind of going more in your direction. It's a uh, it's starting to, to to show some damage, uh, and, and now it's Zoe's turn, and he's also uh, lifting Pressa out of the uh, fire up over his head because they're slammed together, you know, over his head. Okay, uh, Zoe's turn, and then Jonathan will be after that. Okay, all right, just because my foot. Okay, let me see. All right, so if he's starting to weekend then let me what do I have do I have anything left uh... well I'm gonna save my magic just for a sec because you know I still might need to heal somebody so let me let me use my automatic pistol okay got a seven for damage for a hit oh okay, yeah that that missed yeah was that was that a was that an attack roll or a damage roll because that uh, seems that was that was the hit DC. Oh, okay. I, I didn't do damage yet because. Okay, so it was just a really low roll. Okay, yep, that one missed. <sighs> yeah, and uh, Jonathan. All right. Pop to the corner. And yeah, I guess we should do the same thing again. Chromatic orb with fire. <laughs> I can show you if you want. I rolled another 20. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that's uh, that's awesome. All Same right, uh, so roll your damage and double it again. Uh, nine, sixteen, thirty-two. Wow. Yeah, it, it, this is fire again. It is. Yeah. Wow. So this thing is hurt super badly by fire, and it's kind of it's kind of uh, compressing itself in and uh, shrinking in, trying to avoid the fire that's all around it. And fire keeps getting lobbed at its face, and uh, <laughs> it's it's hurt really badly. And uh, yeah. now it's Chernovir's turn. Gosh, uh, I guess fire is what hurts it. I guess I, I'm considering sending another frozen cantrip at it because that would cool off the fire. Let me see, uh, what can I do? Uh, there's not much I can do. I don't have any spells left. Um. Um, hmm. Uh, I guess there's, I can, hmm. Let me check mm. something here real quick. Um, okay. That's the, 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 I'm further away from it than five feet. So I guess I will, I will throw Ray of Frost at it. There's, that's all I can do. Let's see. Okay. Um, I throw Ray of Frost and I roll a 19. That hits. Hit. Yeah. Yeah. Roll your damage. My damage will be, uh, rolling on D and D beyond gives me a three damage. Okay. One D eight. Okay. All right. Yeah, it uh, it does do damage, so he's not like immune to cold or anything. Right, right. Yeah, so it it uh, it takes the hit and and uh, kind of oh, winces wait. a little bit. But it, the hit is plus five, so um, I just rolled a one d eight, and it gave me a three, but it's plus five, right, for Ray of Frost. Um, I'm yeah, I'd, I'd have to look at your character sheet. No, that's that's it, to hit. Oh, that's to hit. You roll. You roll the d twenty. Add that okay. five. So just yeah. three points. Of, yeah. 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 Usually it adds all that stuff in for you if you had any yeah. damage bonuses. Um. So you, um, everybody feels in their minds. It says, "I'll see you all in hell." Uh, and now you it's first, Ralph's brother turn. Porgus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ralph, it's your turn. Elders bless. Go. 
Okay, uh, what'd you get? I rolled a 16. Uh, oh. Plus four is... 20. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, that definitely hits. Boom, Pull your did damage. something finally. Yeah. Boom. Eldritch Blast is 1d10, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. How many tentacles does this thing have? Uh, two that you can see. <laughs> it's, only, it's only ever brought out two. Because I was hoping to get closer here so they would grab me so I could use my sword at it. Oh. But I think that's kind of risky to pull a Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pew. Okay, how much damage did you do, uh, Ralph? Uh, plus four. Oh, so yeah, this ten, right? Yeah, I did roll a d10. Six, seven. Seven? Okay. Yeah. Uh, the... All right, where where did uh, describe where you hit it? I, I at the base of the tentacle that has me. Okay. It um yeah, so you you aim at the base of the tentacle, the tentacle gets severed and the creature's blood starts gushing out of the stump and it's kind of spins around screaming and the creature turns to ash. And you oh. see the um the the pool starts draining. And it turns into kind of a whirlwind, and Tressa and um, Tressa and and Ralph get sucked in and uh, go go down to to the bottom. Ah. Uh, you can make an athletics check if you want to try to swim out of it. <laughs> okay, that's the, the the twenty side. Uh, yeah. Plus your athletics bonus. Are the bodies like spinning in the whirlpool as well? Uh, so, yeah, they are. The bodies are all swirling down, down like a like they're in a toilet. All right, I'll use Mage Hand to grab the rifle from the previous leader. Okay. Before it gets sucked down into the. All right. Um, make a. Would that be a dexterity check? I guess your or maybe Arcana. Um, I'll it's, make it's tricky to do. Yeah, I'll make a dexterity check. Okay. Or sleight of hand. Yeah, or dexterity. Or, or okay. um, yeah, yeah, I think. Well, sleight of hand. If you want to do that one, you could. I yeah, would. I, I'm... 25. Wow, yeah, you're able to pluck, pluck that gun out of, uh, out of the cold, <laughs> dead hands of... Uh, <laughs> of uh, of your uh, the, the, the guy that you you met briefly, yeah, Fiddler Krustev. All right, and I'll uh, Pressa did not make her uh, was not able to swim out of the whirlpool. Uh, what about Ralph? What, what was your athletics check? Twenty. 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 Wow. Yeah. Uh, Twenty was exactly what what you needed. Uh, that's a really yeah. That's a really high uh, high <laughs> um, difficulty. But you for some reason. You you uh, you you kind of arced <laughs> your body and and uh, and and swam like a you know you you kind of reverted to your reptile self and swam and uh, and swam your way out of the pool. Wow. <laughs> all right, so yeah, it, once the water has all drained down, you see a hole um, leading down to the next floor. All right, so um, I'll float the rifle over to Chodavir. Nice, thanks. Um, it seems like you needed that. And then I'm going to use prestidigitation. If you guys want to take a minute, I can clean everybody's clothes and shoes and stuff up. Okay. It'll smell like like lunch. So do I you, go to my inventory? You from down below. Hello? It's Just a, a sec. voice. <laughs> so do I add a gun to my inventory? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's an automatic rifle. And you, you can use it. You won't have much of a bonus to use it because it's uh, you've never you've never been trained with it. Automatic rifle. Weapons. Here it is. I yeah. will add that to my inventory. Thank you so much, uh, Jonathan. I will feed you some spaghetti when we get back to the tent. <laughs> I never uh, want to see spaghetti again. Actually, after the last hour or so, I think I'm good in spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I know I don't say that often, but 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 I think even I'm good on spaghetti for a while. Yeah. 
Okay, cool, cool. So I'll, I'll waddle over to the edge of the uh, tunnel and just kind of peer down. And I can see in the dark. I've got 120 foot dark vision. Yeah, I jump okay, into the crater so you, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I don't jump in. I'm looking over. You got, Have you learned nothing? Just let me go first. We seagulls okay. are naturally All cautious. Right. All right. Just, 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 just hold on. Okay. <laughs> I'm checking for tentacles. Well, All right. So, it is when you look down, um, it seems dim. There's kind of a flickering candlelight down below, uh, but you can kind of make a perception check. Seventeen. Okay. So you see uh, light glinting off of the water that just spilled down there. And uh, Tressa's looking up at you in the pool. She's up to her waist in this in this uh, kind of putrid um, water filled with dead bodies. Okay, I'll I guess I'll look over my shoulder and uh, say, "All right, guys, let's go!" And kind of flutter down and just perch on one of the floating dead bodies yeah. down below. <laughs> it, it, and it's a, it's twenty feet. So if you jump down, you could get hurt. Well, I mean, I'll, I assume I'm slowing myself with my wings. Well, I mean, not you, but everybody else that wants to follow you. Okay. Well, yeah. hold, hold on, though. I have... Where to go? Shoot. Ignore me until I find it. Is it the feather fall, right? Oh, yeah, that would do it. Five fall... Okay, that's all of us. Huh. Oh, you can yeah. make everybody feather fall? It says choose up to five falling creatures within range. Nice. Okay. Well, that was what Jonathan suggested to get. So thank you, Jonathan. It's the best. Okay, right. so we're going to cast that. Off we go. And everybody floats down, uh, and we're on the level four. Bloop. So there's a guy here on the on the shores of the lake he seems like he's got blood around him but uh is, is that guy dead too oh yeah that's just one of the bodies okay okay most, well, most of the body that one stayed uh stayed above but most of the bodies went down the went down the drain well uh well everybody else is messing around i'm going to start rifling through pockets of corpses okay uh, and um with a well practiced oh, there we are. okay I say a little prayer uh, next to the pile of corpses in a solemn tone. You can keep your prayers. I'll keep their wallets. <laughs> okay. Hold up. Okay. And so where you've landed, you're kind of, um, the water is starting to drain out. Uh, but um, but their bodies are still there. Which and is you're, a drain Make an investigation check if you're searching their bodies. Somebody may want to help. I can't quite get get this out. Ooh, not bad. 19. Okay. Sure, I can help you. All right. Well, the Fiddler had seven bullets left on him uh, to go with that rifle. All right. I'm just going to throw those aside. I don't need those. <laughs> oh, okay. I pick them up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do we have any good um, so do I add and, that to my inventory as well? Seven bullets? Yeah, and he had a, a cloak um, that uh, seems like it might be magical. Um, so I have more I want to put it on, even though only the head like covers me, and just start strutting around and in a high-pitched voice, look, look at me, I'm a human! <laughs> <laughs> the cloak? Yeah. Uh, okay. It, uh, um, are you going to attune to it? Uh, I think that takes an hour anyway. Um, yeah. Can you fly with that thing on top of you? I I don't know. I was just goofing around. Well, well. But um, if it's magical, they like would shrink, so I could. Yeah. And do I add seven modern bullets to my inventory? Yes. Yeah. And and you and you had another um and you had another <laughs> three inside of the yes. inside of the gun. Okay, so I have to add. <laughs> I have to add a ten. So I have to add <laughs> right. it ten times. Wow. Okay. Uh, well, just no, there's a, there's a little there's a little plus and minus for ammunition, so you can just keep tapping oh. the plus until you get to. Well, shucks. Hang on then. Okay, keep going. 
Uh, so you find on another um, on another person, um, and Cressa recognizes him. She says, "Oh, that's Germain." Uh, you find a wand and a handgun. I'll toss the handgun aside. I don't need that either. Okay. I guess I'll look at the wand. Okay. Uh, it it appears also to be magical. Um, there is a uh, there is a golden skinned uh, character that looks a little bit like Musette, only with golden skin. Um, and Musette would recognize this person. Uh, his name was Sabat. He was a he was a seer kind. He was from um, Squad One or Three. Sorry, Squad Three. Uh, he has uh, a scimitar, like a curved sword, and he has um, thieves' tools. I got a sword, so I don't need it. Am I supposed uh, to grab that? If yeah. you want to. Uh, I feel uncomfortable taking things from the dead. <laughs> yeah. I'll take them. Uh. <laughs> I mean, I've got uh, these people already, but now I got pockets. I need something to put in them. Uh, there, there are two more humans, um, and Musette recognizes them from Squad Three, also Gwyn and Crystal, uh, and they have an uh, an axe that looks magical and a short spear that looks magical. Hmm. Hmm. Anybody want to grab those? I want an axe. I mean, somebody should grab them. Even literally, if just said I had a problem with it. I want a spear. Okay. Okay. I like so this. So, if you if you want anybody that wants to add this stuff to their to their um, inventory, inventory, I can tell you yeah. the exact names so that you can add them. Okay. X. The, the axe is a dwarven war axe plus three. Whoa. Inventory. Yeah, so you go to inventory and manage items, and then you add <laughs> Jonathan the human. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So okay. basically, you're a seagull with a big robe and mage hand that's just walking around. Yeah, I guess I'll light a cigarette too to complete the. Man, we got seven right. left. Oh, here we go. But I think if it's magical, the cloak like resizes to yeah. fit you. And so now yeah. I'm just like a seagull walking around in a cute little seagull cloak. Squawk. But it'll take about an hour or two or two yeah. to do that. Manage inventory, so. So I guess Sometimes I can't really time. fly around in this cloak and the wand yet. I'm going to need Yeah, not yet. <laughs> okay, and so what is my spear? Okay, the spear is. There we go. A plus three short spear. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw Jonathan the human. Yeah. <laughs> and um, oh, the if anybody wants the scimitar, it's a plus one scimitar. The scimitar. Yeah. It's another curved sword, right? Yeah. yeah. What else is over there? And if anybody wants to identify stuff, there's the wand and the cloak too. I don't know if anyone can has identify as a as a spell. You can cast that as a ritual and it takes ten minutes and it doesn't use up a spell slot. I'm pretty sure I do. Where am I? Here I am. Jeez, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, my identify takes up a spell slot, so I'd rather not. Oh yeah. If it's a, if it's if you should be able to cast it as a ritual, I don't know. Maybe only wizards can do that. Does it have a little R next to it? Uh yes. So that means if you take ten minutes to cast it, it and as a ritual, it won't use up a spell slot. Oh, okay. I, I and don't know. This is I'm all for taking ten minutes. I'm hurt really, really badly. Okay. So well, um, do I need to do anything to cast it like that? Um 
No, no, you Here just yeah, you just kind of lay out your Here we go. Your components and sit with it for and uh so you you you're, no. you're what are you identifying? Uh the wand. Okay. So the wand is a wand of major image. Ooh. So it would be uh that would be a good one. That that's the kind of stuff that uh, that Jonathan likes to do. He likes to yeah, do illusions. Yeah, that's an illusion. Okay. Yeah. So I guess Jonathan do, do, should take that. Do you want to also identify the cloak? Sure. Okay, that's a, a cloak of displacement. So it makes like a a double of you, um, so that you that it's really hard to hit you because you can't tell which one is the real person. Mm, okay. Can I gift that to Ralph? I think that that could be useful to him. Ah, yeah. Since yeah. Ralph can already do that. Yeah. yeah. Since I die every round. Yeah. So Ralph, can, if you want, you can add that to your inventory cloak of displacement. Well, how many charges on the wand? Or do we? Does it just recharge every day? I'll look it up. Yeah, it's uh, it's probably recharged by now. It's been in there for a few days. I don't see cloak of displacement. Okay, let me see if I can. Oh, here, maybe if I hit load more. <laughs> here it is, cloak there of displacement. Go. I'm gonna add that. Okay. So, I think um, I take that sword. The room you're in uh, has bodies in it, so and the bodies smell pretty bad. Um, but this area doesn't quite you know doesn't quite have the same um it's not super hot it doesn't smell horrible it's everything's pretty comfortable except for the dead bodies around you uh and and it's lit it's mostly lit by candles on the floor uh except there's a there's one torch in the hallway uh to the north and the candles of the on the floor were put out by the uh the water that dumped down into this room um okay uh can we ins inspect our surroundings can we see anything from the room we're in into the different uh, three tunnels the walls seem to be uh, a kind of a brick brick walls uh there are floors kind of ritually set on the uh, candles ritually set on the floor mm. um that's all you can and there are tunnels you know you like you can see on the map there there's tunnels uh, to the west and north and south. Okay. Which direction do you think we should go, guys? We should follow Tre the torch. Tressa says, I am kind of want to rest and get some sleep. I know that sounds strange. Okay. Let's maybe find a room without these bodies. <laughs> maybe yeah. We can rest. Okay. All right. So short, short rest, guys. Uh, I think says I, I think we need a long rest. Next room over. Yeah, if everybody's spell slots are done. Yeah. Yep. Press has run out of spell slots and she's down to 12 hit points. Ouch. And yeah, I think I only, Ralph is even worse shape, right? I only have five. I'm at five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I only got one spell slot left and I, I was trying to hold on to it in case we got into deep doo-doo. Yeah, take it. Right. says, I'm not the sneakiest person. So if someone wants to scout ahead and find us a room that maybe we can camp in, or, I or could we could probably try to do go that. back. Okay. I'll just turn invisible. I've got one spell slot left if we're going to rest. Okay. Which way do you want to go? Um,. We'll just start wandering up this way. Okay. Stealthily, you want me to still roll to see how quiet I am? Yeah, roll, roll stealth. 20 total. Okay. Woo! Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. And, and, and uh, you can roll with advantage, but, I, you know, if you okay. want to, because you're invisible. No, that didn't help. Okay. <laughs> All right. Are you flying, Bryant? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll just do quick flies. 
Yeah, you do see a, a treasure chest in the corner of that one. Are there doors or is it just tunnels? No, they're just they're just open hallways. I never understood why dun door dungeons have doors. I mean, like caves and stuff. And door, tunnels have doors. Oh, yeah. I see. This was the pool that you were supposed to land in, but <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's all right. It works. There's, Jonathan, a, there's a drain there, so that makes sense, too. I guess I'll report. I'm like, there's a chest over in that other room if you guys want to go look. I don't know. Uh, sure, yeah. I'll, there's I'll not a lot look. of good places to camp out. We're going to have to do some pretty serious, lay some serious watches. So there's a chest in the other room. Is that north, west, or south? I'm gone. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not the best <laughs> at communicating. <laughs> okay. Um. That one would be where you're at would be okay too. It's a little cramped, but you'd be all right. I put an image of what you look like, Jonathan, in the Facebook chat. <laughs> you see it? No, I'm still exploring. I'll check in a second. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. Should, it's a PNG. You could use that to replace his, uh, his uh, up, uh, overhead uh, image. Oh, right. We may have to do that. So I'll report back. Whoa. OK. Um, I lost myself underneath Ralph, but we'll just pretend I flew back to the main ro the room at where everybody else is. And if Rob, you could move my um my image to right there, I can't click on it. It's under the. I moved it oh, to a place I couldn't click. Um. Oh, I see you. So it looks like this room is probably the best place to sleep, except for all the corpses. So uh, if you guys want to follow me, and I'll just lead them this way. Okay. Which okay. way? This way? Yeah. Down here. Be like, this is probably our best bet. Even though it's not a very good one. I don't know. If we're sleeping overnight, I, might, I wouldn't even be opposed to... Uh, going back up upstairs and just kind of camping in the can we even get back up there the cave <laughs> well i can get up uh, yeah you can okay. chris this says i don't know if i want to go back up there uh, i don't think i could sleep with all that all those uh, you know all that rot and, and well you can uh, sleep in a room with three hallways leading into it <laughs> Each of us could sleep across at an entrance, so if someone comes in, they'll trip over us. Oh, we're gonna have to take turns. Yeah, we're gonna. Have I to mean, set we watches. shouldn't. Nope. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Do you guys need a break? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we just need a quick one. And make lunch real fast okay. for the child okay yeah let's uh let's take a break this episode is sponsored by don bertram's celebrate imagination don bertram's celebrate imagination shop is dedicated to benefiting the arts and medicine program at texas children's cancer center up to 50 percent of his proceeds will support the program where artist don bertram's volunteers monthly Don Bertram is a longtime friend of Clive and celebrates and continues to be inspired by his art. He uses that inspiration to help kids through the Texas Children's Cancer Center, and we couldn't be more thrilled to continue to work with him. There's a news feature video that shows Don working with the kids at Texas Children's Cancer Center and his artwork. Click the side banner at www.clivebarkercast.com to find links to the video and his Etsy shop where you can buy his prints, books, and support this wonderful program. Check out his most recent shared painting, Sky Egg, homage to Barker, from his Etsy shop. If you like the character artwork for Jericho Squad, check out the art of Asya Yordanova.
and Shayla Sackinger of Bird Ninja Art. If you like the intro theme, check out music by composer Ben Warren, who's a good friend of the Clive Barker podcast. In-game music provided by Tabletop Audio. Joe and Catalina come from Little Spark Films, who recently helped with Joe Bob Briggs's The Last Drive-In on Shudder. Check out Catalina Carita's Barker and Briefs, where she reads Clive Barker books. She's currently reading Clive Barker's A to Z of Horror, which BarkerCast is also revisiting with our audio commentaries. These make great companion pieces together. And finally, if you want to support us at the BarkerCast, a great way to do that and show us off is the BarkerCast Tee Public Store. We've got a Jericho Squad crew shirt. We've got uh, Cenobium. We've got uh, Marcus's pinhead design. There's all kinds of great designs, and they're, and they're not just t-shirts either. So please go check it out. Uh, get something and support us. Thanks. And well, before, yeah, and you guys can decide um, how you want to set up watch or do you want to set up watches? Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, setting up watches, we've got three possible entrances. Yeah. So just w- one, one person can be awake while everybody else is sleeping and then you take turns. I can take the first yeah. watch. Do these corpses have belts on or like... Rope. Some of them, <laughs> yeah. Some of them have belts. Okay, can I set up like trip wires? Oh, like put the belts and stuff kind of at ankle height. And if there's anything that jangles, make it so if it's, I don't know. Yeah, make like an investigation keys. check. That's to, smart. Yeah. Ten. Okay. Well, you you do you you find the. Uh, you find one belt that you can use and uh, there's there's some car keys on one of them that you can use for jangling. Okay. Mm-hmm. I will put that here. Okay. I'm going down a little tunnel here just investigating. There doesn't okay. seem to be anything useful so I'm just going to go back. We could drag um, this table and stick it like here. Yeah, can we do that? Yeah. Oh, oh, wait. That. Oh. The table in the other room that we just drained into. Oh crap. <laughs> um. Okay. I see what's happened here. So let's um let's kind of pretend that you didn't fall in that room. Uh oh. Yeah. You you we guys live in that red room to the south. With the red pool of goo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna let that go, but I, I realized that we can't. Um, okay. That other room is important. All right. So while exploring so from, while you were exploring, you did see a, a room with candles all around it. Mm-hmm. And a table and a, a black lacquered box sitting on it. Oh, black lacquered box. Yes. Um, uh-huh. So th- this is where the metagaming <laughs> is going to be a challenge. <laughs> I already forgot what we did before. <laughs> okay. The gulfs are watching. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, don't, I don't like rings of candles, so I'm going to like scuttle around. Whoop, I didn't select. <laughs> scuttle around to just knock them all over and out. <laughs> okay. Fuck these candles. Make make a make yeah, a fuck these acro- candles. make an acrobatics check to do that. Twenty three. All right, you managed to do that. You don't even you don't even singe a foot or anything. I hate candles. <laughs> Just go okay. kick them over. <laughs> Waddle to the next one. And kick it over. Yeah. All right, and. uh Oh man! <laughs> yeah, I just so, saw Jonathan um, in the chat. That's perfect. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, so what? What do you guys want? Um, do you guys want to start your watches now? You've got a treasure chest in there with you. Do you want to mess with that or wait until after you're done? That's great. Right. 
Let's take I think a it rest. might be booby trapped. Yeah, we'll, we'll just take a rest and then look at it, see what we can do with it. Well, if we didn't okay. land in here, why don't we rest in this room? Because it's more easily defensible, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Well, we you landed. Are... We landed on that other thing on the bottom there at the south, with all the corpses. Yeah. Are. Yeah. That. Yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. So now this is this room would be yeah. suitable for camping, right? We just found that room and it's got a box Whatever on top of it. Whatever this box is. All right. So um, everybody's taking rest and um, was Zoe first, I think, or Musette? I can't remember. Who was taking the first watch? It was Chardivier. Me. I'm okay, taking the first watch. I was totally off. Okay. Yeah, okay. it was Chirdevere, um, then Musette, then Ralph, and then Tressa, okay. and then we didn't determine in what order the last two people were going. Yeah, well, and you really only need four watches, so the last two people can just sleep if they want to. Okay, um, <laughs> and actually, <clears throat> we'll skip. Normally, we would do, like, perception checks and stuff like that, but really nothing happens throughout the whole night, so everybody can hit the long rest button. Okay, long rest. Yeah, you get your spell slots back and your hit points back. Everybody's in good shape. Uh, you don't get the bullets back that you fired, but. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have completed long rest. Along the top. And my spell slots are back. Yeah, get confirm. I'm back, baby. Yeah. And I still have <clears throat> 20 out of 20 hit points. Okay, so, and <clears throat> in the morning, uh, if you have any food or rations, everybody's, uh, you wake up pretty hungry, especially everybody that threw up yesterday. <laughs> right on. Uh, let me see what I have. Wait, do I go to my inventory? Let's see what we got. Preston my, pulls uh, out a, a, like a Tupperware um, thing with, with more spaghetti in it. Uh, uh, I, uh, Jonathan, you can have my spaghetti if you want. Um, <laughs> okay. I have rations one I'm day okay. in my inventory. Oh, okay. Can I All consume right. that? That spaghetti uh, you, you just eat, eat a small part of it because it's that lasts you for the whole day. Okay. Okay. So that's what I have to. So do just I have the to... quantity of one. Yeah. Okay. I've removed All that. right. There's a treasure chest in this room with you. And okay. uh, you've got uh, you've got passages, you know, to the south is where you landed with the, the pool of, of uh, dead bodies. And mm -hmm. to the north, there's a passage. And to the east, there's a passage. And one to the north, right? Yes. But it's just Okay, one. so... Um... I want to investigate the chest, the treasure chest. Okay. Um, are you are you investigating, like looking for traps? Yeah, I'm looking for okay. traps. See if it's booby trapped. What kind of lock it is? It's. Uh, it, I'm gonna it hide behind the corner. It doesn't seem to be booby trapped. It just seems to be locked. Okay. Um, well, make I... an investigation check. All right, we'll do investigation check, and I've rolled. 22 wow yeah um like i said there's no there, there there's no magical or mechanical traps involved in it. it's just it's just locked with it it's just right. got a padlock on it that looks like it needs a key i'll hop up and pick try, attempt to pick the lock okay does anyone uh, want to help me yeah sure did i have a small grab knife the, did anybody grab those uh, thieves tools I did, um, actually, yeah. and I've already got thieves tools. So if you need okay. some, you can have them. All right, uh, make a make a roll with your thieves tools, and go do it with advantage if Chur is helping you. Yeah. Twenty two. Wow. Uh, yeah. It uh, you you managed to unlock the padlock, and you can take it off the hasp and and open it up. Nice. All right, and then I immediately want to hop back over and hide <laughs> before they <Okay>. open it. <laughs> so in, in, 
inside you see a great big pile of money Ooh. Uh, it, it looks like and it, it looks like British money uh, Great Britain pounds okay and uh, and you see a rolled up uh, parchment in there so so am I the one in front of it I mean I, I can yeah. I can I grab the parchment and uh, yeah so I look at it and be like, hey, jackpot, guys, we got some money here. I don't know if it's current money, if it's useful, but uh, how? And, let and, me count the money. Musette, how much money is in here? Musette would, would probably know uh, Great Britain pounds better than anybody. Okay. Um, but it's uh, 40,000 uh, Great Britain pounds. It's a lot of money. Ooh. Whoa. Holy crap, 40,000. Um, so this Sorry, meaning 400,000. <laughs> Damn, almost half a million. Yeah. Okay, I grab the the scroll and I uh, 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 unwrap it and try to make out what it says. Okay, this is a magic scroll, so um, you know as a as a wizard that reading this scroll will cast a spell, um, mm, but then okay. the scroll will will become useless after you read it. After oh, you okay. Cast it. Okay. So you can either do that, you can save it, uh, or you can. Um, or you can try to write it into your spell book. Hmm. Which I highly okay. recommend. Let's let's try doing that. Let's try doing okay. that. So how do I do that? I, I, I'm i going to investigate it and try to learn the spell and add it to my spell slot. What do I need to yeah, roll? Yeah, it, it, uh, it would take hours to do that. Um, okay. So you can, you can just kind of stuff it away and save that for later. All right. I'll save it for later for but the next it, session. Reading it, you know it's a scroll of Unseen Servant. Okay, unseen servant. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm so he doesn't that need to me to uh, comprehend languages if he already knows what it <laughs> means. Oh well, he 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 was able to use his uh, arcana to kind of fit, work out what spell it was, and it's a low level, kind of a lower level spell, so it, it, he was able to do it. Cool. So do I filter by scroll and look for unseen servant? Uh, it's weird the way D and D Beyond does it. They just okay. will just say like level one spell scroll or whatever, and then you have to write in the notes. Got what it. Spell it is. I've I've added. Okay. Good. 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 I've I wish added that they would my... just let you put this actual add the actual spells, but they don't. Yeah, I'll tell. Uh, uh, hey, uh, Musette, there's a lot of money here. I, I don't. I'm not sure what you want to do with it. Maybe it would be useful for. Um, for the Jericho squad in the uh, um, ah, what's the name of it? The Fugue. Yes, thank you. Pressa says, you know, I my squad was completely decimated, so we could also use some of that. But making everything about yourself, Tressa. By all means. Dude, she has gone through a lot. <laughs> Tressa, yeah, okay. you went a uh, half And and you hear uh, you you hear the uh, the the imp at this point whispering. I guess it deserves it all. What do you think? Okay, okay seventy five percent. Seventy five percent. There you go. There you go. <clears throat> I think you? this imp. I think this so imp is trying to. We had to could, save her life so. and then pay her for it. Yeah, listen to the listen to the bird. He knows. Guys, he's trying to set us against each other. I mean, we can uh, we can argue this stuff after we get out of this this freaking like hell uh, room. Just put he's all just the money in someone's pocket. Because he wants to pocket it all himself. I bet he's gonna take it. He's the one that. I do not chest. want any money. I gave the money, so the, don't mm. listen to this guy. This guy is is this this uh this. Nisqually flume. I just call him fart. Don't listen to fart, okay? So I, I want to use minor illusion and make a larger pile of money right there. <laughs> oh, we have plenty of money. Let's just get going. Yeah, leave that pile of money for uh, fart. <laughs> There's plenty of money for everybody. It's just as real as the real thing. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you about the Federal Reserve. <laughs> <laughs> All money's an illusion. This is true. Don't trust fiat currency. <laughs> <laughs> Crypto Bitcoin. is the way to go. All right. All right. So I'm gonna stealthily, like, kind of flutter down this way. 
Okay. Okay. Do I need to put notes or anywhere that we have that money? Uh, Hold yeah. Down. Yeah. Who, who's hanging on? Who's holding on to it? I'll hold on to it. Okay. Yeah. It just write, write it down in in the, if you go to inventory and then other possessions. You said once it, it all. Yeah. How do I uh, customize my scroll, Ryan? I'm I'm adding it here. I see customize, and I see unseen servant. Uh, I yeah, just typed so it in to the name. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay. Oh, there it is. I already did that. Cool. All okay. right. Uh, which let's go so to Jonathan the. Jonathan is in investigating the northern passage there. Okay. And if you want, I can just take a look. You guys don't necessarily have to follow. Okie dokie. I am grabbing my my ribbon sword in my hand, and I'm just I'm just looking, peering into the western uh, 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 eastern tunnel. Okay, and it looks like Ralph is going back to the south. Okay, I'll get about there, and I can see this room up here, and then I'll go yeah. back and tell everybody that. This hallway just goes down to a large room. Okay. I turn the uh, right, and I keep going down that place, and then I realize, oh, I'm back where I started. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna. <clears throat> I'm gonna go back up there, to the fork, and peer into the tunnel. It's kind of dark. We did. Oh, there's Ralph. Okay. Well. <laughs> so was there a treasure chest where Ralph is? Yeah, there's supposed to be, and I don't think it showed up. Okay, no, yeah, because of the, the lighting, we're not seeing it. There too. But, Ralph, you do see a treasure chest in there. Wait, where is Ralph? Way down to the south. Oh, I don't see him because I'm stuck in a hallway. Okay. Um, I find a hmm. room at the end of the tunnel I'm going through. There's a table on it. There's a few put-out candles. Yeah. Oh, wait, and, uh, did he did, you, and, did he put them out? No, did I did not? not. Okay, there's a room with candles and a table. Okay, yeah, and on the table you see a black lacquered box. Hmm. Yeah, I'm suspicious you, of it. You feel a, a wave of uh, a wave of magic coming from it, and make a wisdom saving throw. I got it. Wisdom saving throw. Okay, I have rolled. Oh shit. Nine. <laughs> okay, you are uh, compelled to open the box. Oh, boy, I know this is a bad idea. You you know that you you need to open this box. Uh, so okay. make um, and it's going to take you a long time. But make a combined um. Uh, wisdom and dexterity, or not wisdom, intelligence and dexterity check. So we'll so, take those two checks and combine them together. Okay. Okay. Intelligence, so that's saving throw, right? No, not saving throw, just a check. Oh. So you oh, just, just click on the yeah, intelligence and then and then dexterity, and we're gonna add them together. Twenty three for intelligence. Wow. Okay. Dexterity, twelve. You said so dexterity. That's, uh, right? Is that thirty five? Yep. Twelve okay. and uh, twenty three. Yes. Okay, um, you're starting to get the hang of this box. Oh no! Um, but uh, it's taking you a long time. So in the meantime, okay. we can deal with what other people are doing. Okay, I'm just there fiddling with it like a Rubik's cube. Yeah, and I just kind of look. And, what you got there? Yeah, Ralph, you and and uh, and Jonathan's both. See, oh, I, where did Ralph? Ralph just teleported to the south. What's going on with that? Where are you, Ralph? Yeah, what's Okay, well, but you, you went to the north, right? No. Your 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 uh, microphone's turned off. I'm telling Jonathan this seems important somehow. Hello. Yes. Hey. Right, so, what happened there? Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm in the south. Okay, but you were up there in the room with the puzzle box. I was. I was moving around. I can go back up there. Okay. I need to stop doing. No, you can go wherever you want. No, yeah. Ralph is here. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, you can't just explore the map without actually really exploring the map. You know what I mean? Right. 
Okay. So um, you also you also feel kind of a compelled. Uh, you you feel a wave of magic coming off of this box and make a uh, make a wisdom saving throw also, and same Jonathan. Okay. The wisdom is a ten. Uh, no, it's you, twenty sided die plus 20. your wisdom uh, saving throw modifier. This room is getting crowded. Twenty. Twenty. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you you both are able to shake it off. Um, you don't, uh, but you see that that uh, for some reason Trudovir doesn't even seem to re- um, to recognize that you're in the room with him. He's so obsessed with this box. Be, hey, to, to get it hey, open. And he Trudevere. seems to have made some progress. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe you should put that down. That, this seems important. Nothing is that important. Put it down. Yeah, why don't you just put it down? Uh, I, I try to put it down. I think I found another chest. Might have some money. So something is something is kind of uh, gnawing at you that it seems like maybe you should stop, but uh, you you can't. You got to keep going. Okay, you're, I'm gonna you're use. Right, you're right sorcery. near the end of it. You think? I'm gonna use three sorcery points to cast darkness right there. But because I use the sorcery points, I can see through the magical darkness, and I'm going to take the box away from him before he can finish opening it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Make a um sleight of hand. Sleight of beak. Well, it, it would be an opposed uh strength check. Cuz you're trying to rip it out of his hands. Mine. Yeah, so Mine. both of you uh make Mine. strength Mine. checks. Mine. Mine. Uh okay. Strength check <laughs> me and Jonathan? Yeah. Yep. Ooh. Uh so so um 18. Okay. I got a 7. But it's in total <laughs> okay. darkness. So he I, I assume he can't really make progress opening the box. Well, what, did you he, put out the candles? I cast magical darkness. Oh, okay. How long does that last? Um I got a box right here. Let me just grab it. <laughs> ah. 10 minutes. Oh wow. Okay. Well, he it's taking this is a process that takes hours, so he can wait you out. Or he can try to go by feel, but he's he's got a good handle on it. All right, I'm going to keep keep trying to pull it away from him and distract him. And flitter in his face and like try to kick it out of his hands and do everything I can for that 10 minutes. Okay. Well, while this is going on, what is the what is everybody else doing? Well, I can, uh, I can take a turn, right? Yeah. I would like to go ahead and cast Fey Presence on uh, Shodavir. Hey, what is Fey Presence? Okay, yeah. what, is, what is that going to do? I'm just going to make him uh, be charmed by me oh. until the end of my turn so he can just hand the box over. I just imagine Ralph like going up close to Shodavir going, ooh la la. Just give get away from me, bird. And go, hey. Yeah. Get away from me, bird. Well, this That's... is all in magical darkness, too, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. So that might be any creature you can see. Any creature I can see? Oh, yeah, does it say yeah. that on the uh, on your uh, spell? Once per short rest, as an action, you can cause each creature in a 10-foot cube from you to make a wisdom saving throw, DC 12, or become charmed or frightened by you. Uh, your choice until the end of your next turn. Okay, so you don't have to see them. No. So I thought. Okay. Gonna... Uh, so I guess Jonathan and Chertovir make a wisdom saving throw. Because you're getting you're getting charmed by Ralph. I failed. Okay. <laughs> and Chertovir um. also failed. Okay, so they're both you've got they're both charmed. What do you want them to do? I want I want Joe Devere to go ahead and give uh, Livingston the box. Yeah, just just let let me take this f- off your hands for just you. Let him let him just let him just take a turn. It's his turn. Sharing is caring. So, <laughs> wow. So you um you you it feels like this is something that you have to do, but you really don't want to. So you give it to uh, give it to. To Jonathan, I could have bit him. 
Okay, so Jonathan, you've got the box. Okay, here you go. Uh, I'm, I'm not trembling. My my fingers don't want to let go, but okay, there you go. Are you guys right. still in the in the dark, or are you going to let it go? No, I'm keeping them in the dark until... Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to fly back into here and up the tunnel and hide it in a garbage pit. <laughs> in the garbage pit on the floor above. Oh, gross. You're, you're flying it up to the floor above? Yeah. Okay. Confounded uh, bird. <laughs> Remove the darkness that's off of my eyes. Laden or unladen? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it has no string. We are in Africa, so I guess I'm an African gull. <laughs> Squawk, mom. So Tressa just walks in in the middle of this, and she says, "What? What's happening? What did I miss?" Absolutely nothing. Okay. Okay. And, and uh, what about um, what about Zoe and and uh, Musette? What are you guys doing? Uh, Tressa just went that way. Okay. Say, Zoe, come on, we go this way. We need to stick together. All right. When I get Zoe. back up, I'll release the darkness. Hang on, I gotta unmute. I'm coming. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. That was weird. It must have been a power power surge or something. <laughs> candles. Taking a moment to collect myself. It's like, damn it, bird. That box seemed important. I don't know what you're talking about. What box? I squint they my all eyes at him. Of ear, but they're not. <laughs> okay, so what do you guys want to do now? Now that what? the box is hidden. I found a treasure. Jonathan though. knows where it is. What? I I, I, I I demand Jonathan tell me where he put the box. Oh, that's old news. Let's move forward. Uh, there's a well, box in the other room. I think Ralph found a new box. I found a box this way if you want to follow. Yeah, let's go let's okay. go follow Ralph to his okay. box. Okay, I kind of shake sure off that feeling. Ralph is the best idea, but okay. <laughs> I kind of shake way. off the hold of the box and I'm like, you know what? That that didn't feel right. That didn't feel right. Okay, let's let's move on. It's in this big room. Dude. Okay, you're, we're follow everybody's following Ralph. Everyone's Wait, following. Yeah, yeah, let's follow Ralph. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, right. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. okay. Right here. I found this thing. I didn't touch it. Okay, what did you find? What did you find? Oh, I see it. Looks like another chest. Um, I'll help somebody look for traps. I'll somebody else should probably do it, but I'll help. I can barely see what we're looking at because the shadows are not helping. Yeah, they're not moving correctly for me either. Okay, I see something there. Okay, yeah. I so can't Rob, really is, see. That, is that... The tre the chest. Yeah, yeah, it is. I see it. Yeah, I'm not sure why the shadows messed up. That's weird. Okay. Hey Zoe, you got thieves tools, right? I did not know. You can have Jonathan. some. I got an extra set. So Rob was at number two, I think. There it is. Yeah, number two. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, yeah, so there's a chest there. Uh, what do you want to do? I'm going to poke around, um, or I can help somebody. Or I can help. Uh, I was trying to help somebody um, look, because I don't have the best investigation. OK, so somebody else is going to investigate it? Okay. I'll give them advantage. OK. I rolled. I probably should have just done it how I rolled, but whatever. Where do you see your investigation? It's your intelligence. Oh, here we go. Yeah, skill. Sorry, uh, mine's plus three. I don't know if that's good okay. or not. Better than mine. Middle of the road. Okay, so uh, investigating mine. that. Um, what is it, a box, trunk? My investigation's that's... plus five. Oh, okay. okay. You Chodavir do it. should probably go. I'll help Chodavir do it. Okay, let me roll my investigation. You get to roll two. Okay, because it's advantage. Yeah, gotcha. So, sorry, sorry about that, Musette. Uh... Why are you apologizing? Let me well, yeah. Well, I got Good 15, thing. 15 on my investigation Yay. check. Okay. 
Um, oh, wait, wait, I got advantage. Let me try again. Uh, just give me one second here. Investigation. Okay. And oh, okay. 24 on my second roll. Okay. So, so as you open it, uh, the thing. We've big, not opened. Uh, big, big pseudopods come out of the side of the chest and start clubbing at you. And, and the oh, chest no. opens and it's like a big mouth. And it's got a great oh. big eye in the center of it. I thought we were just checking to see if there was any traps, but I guess oh, it I was a creature. It. <laughs> okay. He's so cute. Oh, okay. All right, so All everybody right. roll for initiative. Okay. All right. Uh, 14. Yeah, because I'm not going to remember. If you just want to tell oh, me. Oh, gosh your number, darn it. Okay, okay, Zoe rolled no, I got a nine. Take, roll. I'll definitely take this one. Okay, so oh. what have we got? I got 14. Okay. Jonathan got 15. Musette got six. Okay, that didn't really help you very much. But it's better you know than gone down negative, to nine. It's better than negative 107. Yikes. <laughs> okay. Yes, Ralph got a 16. Oh, nice. Okay. And Tressa, I have to roll again. Eighteen. Okay, these all look like normal numbers. I'm gonna hit start. All right. So this time Tressa is going first, and she's gonna whack it with her glaive. I'll just. Go. Seventeen to hit. That hits, and she does nine damage to it with her. She just chops right into the top of the chest creature and uh, hurts it. Okay. And uh, where is she? Okay, so she kind of reached around use that to do that and it wants to get to her so it's going to do a pseudopod attack to reach around Musette and try to hit her because he's mad that but she he missed and now it's Ralph's turn and then Jonathan will be next after that. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just I'm gonna do Eldritch Blast. Okay. Uh, All right. Roll the hit. One. The D10. Is this it? This it? Which one is it? Uh, oh, you have to roll the hit first, and then you roll oh, the yeah. damage. Oh yeah. Sorry. Two. Okay, yeah. Huh. Two, two. two is the roll, or two plus your that uh, includes your. Table. Oh, two is uh no, it's a plus six. Uh, it's six, yeah. Okay, yeah, that missed. Yeah, Jonathan. All right, I'm gonna move back. Take the attack of opportunity. Okay. Is that with disadvantage? Uh, well, I was going to wait to do a dodge. It's a reaction. But yeah, I was going to oh, dodge. Right. If okay. I needed to. Uh, he... He got an 11. That's a miss. Okay. And then I will mind sliver him. So it's a DC okay. 13 intelligence saving throw. Ouch. He, he's not very smart. <laughs> oh, wow. He got a natural 20. Well, so uh, he, uh, for some reason, he got yeah. really clever right then, and uh, he, he, uh, he dodged your mind to the sliver. Uh, I couldn't find his mind in the shifting body. Yeah. <laughs> Does that do uh, half damage or just nothing? No, no, that's. Okay. It's only d6 damage and then the minus one before to the next saving throw. So I rolled a natural twenty, so that means yeah. he got a seventeen. 
But he got it. <laughs> <laughs> that still makes it. Yeah. But. Okay, uh, sure I'm you. done. You're right up in its face because you were one of the people trying to investigate it. You're muted, I believe. Okay, Jose, you're still muted. Slice and dice time. Sorry about that. So I'm excited about having my new automatic rifle. So I'm going to pull on my rifle, point blank at him, and say, okay. that makes two of us. And, and I'm going to shoot. <laughs> that makes two of us. <laughs> okay. So uh, roll to hit. Uh, okay, so how do I do that with my firearm? If, if you go into my... your actions, you should be able to see the, the gun actions. there. Okay, I am wielding You're not going to have, gun. you're probably only going to have like a plus, uh, plus two hit. Yeah, you're just your dexterity bonus is it, because you've never used it before, so you don't get your proficiency okay. bonus with it. I'm pretty close, so I'm going to risk it. I will roll to hit, okay. and I've rolled an 11. Ooh, I believe, yeah, that just barely missed. Oh, okay. Did I graze him? No. Well, no. He he kind of he kind of swerved around it. Then I barely hit. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Zoe. Okay. I'll, I'll take one bullet off my inventory. Maybe you should stick to swinging swords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yep. On screen. Here we go. I'm going right here, and then the spiritual weapon okay my weapon my my floating spectral weapon will take the the shape of the all-seeing eye of Horus because i'm just cool like that and that's cool um woo, i got a 21 all right and and, and i then, believe casting the spell and moving the weapon around and making it attack are all like a, that's a bonus action so i think you can still do a regular action right uh, back up. Okay, my damage was eight. Let me back up here. Um, okay. As a bonus action on your turn, you can move the weapon up to 20 feet and repeat the attack against the creature within five feet of it. Okay. Wow. Casting it initially, was that an action or a bonus action? That was an action. Okay. Well, you heard him. What? It, that casting, it's a bonus action. Okay. Oh, but making it move again would be the action? Making it move after you cast it? An attack? It's an additional bonus action to make it attack on okay, any so other. So she would be using her turn to do all of that at once. Okay. All right. Um, and do you want to move or anything? Are you good where you're at? I'm good where I am. Let's just kill this thing. Okay. Um, Musette. What up? You're right in front of the thing. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, I don't know why it sounds so echoey to me. Uh, I just want a stabby stab. Okay, roll the hit. Ah! Oh, that worked. Uh, 17. Uh, hold on. Uh, and then I do my hit plus hit. Okay. Right? So 21. Yeah, you, um, oh, yeah, yeah. So you, that, to that definitely hits. So what's your damage? And that's a 1d4 plus 2. Ah, shoot. It's 1 plus 2. So 3. Okay. You uh, take a nick out of it. Um, next is Tressa again. She's Does that do, do any damage? Yeah, she heard it. And Tressa is going to attack it with her glaive again. Whoa. Oh, I clicked the damage part instead of the... 13 barely hits. And then the damage was 5. Okay. And now... It's going to... Oh, um, it's going to go and see which one it attacks. So it's attacking, um, it's attacking Zoe. Wow, that hits. 
And it's Zoe's close enough he's gonna bite. Oh my god, he's a biter! Yeah. <laughs> oh man. You, you, you take five damage. Oh! That teeth. <laughs> He, he takes a big bite out of your arm. Ah! Okay, Ralph is next. Uh, Eldridge Blast. Okay, roll the hit. Ten. Plus okay, uh, four okay. is uh, 14. That hits. Okay. Roll your Eldridge damage. <laughs> One. <laughs> okay. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe next time roll major damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jonathan is next. And then Jeremy uh, will be after Jonathan. I'm just going to repeat Mind Sliver, DC 13, Intelligence Saving Throw. Okay. No. He, he rolled a nine, so he got a six. He failed. All right. He takes three psychic damage. And, okay. a, and a minus 1d4 on his next saving throw. Oh. Okay. He's starting to look a little beat up. Uh, Cherdovir. So I pull out my ribbon sword and I um, I strike at him with my ribbon sword. So let me roll to hit. And I get... Oh, ho, 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 22 to hit. Yeah, that definitely hits. Okay, let's do the damage here. Let's see. Uh, so that's uh, 1d4 plus 3. So that's Looks 5 like... on, on the first one. Yeah. And that is so that's five, 5 on the second one. Wait, why are you What You, you get one attack. Oh, okay. Right? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is that 1d4 plus 3? Okay. So that was my, my first yeah. roll. Okay. Uh, Zoe is next. And then Musette. <coughs> oh, sorry. You're, you're muted also. I'm trying to see whether or not any of these spells I have on here can heal myself since I've got a chunk out of my arm. Um, can always heal you too when we are done with this guy. Well, then let's do this. Decisions, decisions. Well, you still got your spiritual weapon going. Huh? Yeah. You still got your spiritual weapon going. Yeah, so that... it's still floating out there. It's ready. You can use it, make it attack with a bonus action. Okay. How do I do the bonus action then? So you every every turn you have an you have action, you have bonus action, and you have movement. So you get it's like you get a free attack because of this spell that you already cast. So you're okay. not even going to use up your turn to do that. So you, you, you might as well hit him with it. All right, let's hit him with it. Okay, roll to hit with your spiritual weapon. Okay. Big laser comes out of the eye of Horus. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yes. 10, 4 to hit, which means I didn't hit it. Damage 7. Okay. Oh wait, what what did you roll to hit? Ten. Oh okay, yeah, that missed. I know. Okay, but you still have your full you still have your main action too. Okay. So, so your spiritual weapon did that on its own it. kind of, but you could still do something with your own stuff. Stick it. 
can I use the stabby stabby spear? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to do that because I like spears. All right. Roll the hit. Got it. Ah! No! The nine. That's even worse. Okay. Yeah, that missed. Yeah. It's all those eyeballs. No, three. Okay. That was my turn. Use Sucked that. Time. What up? It's your turn. Okay. Stab. Okay. Roll the hit. Uh, hold up. Ten plus. Wait. It's just. Oh, sorry. Ten plus five. Fourteen. That hits. Okay. This is a D4 plus two. Oh, five. All right. Takes five damage. Okay. And uh, top of the round again, Tressa is going to go. Okay. She's going to just hit him with her glaive again. She doesn't want to use up her spell slots, but she missed. And now it's the Mimic's turn. And who did the most damage to him so far? I don't know. He's just gonna, I'm gonna roll. He's gonna attack Musette. He's going to use a pseudopod. So it's like a big old club coming out of his side. He missed. Now it's Ralph's turn, and then Jonathan. Oh, in the wings. I'm going to. Eating in the wings. The Eldritch Blast. All right, roll the hit. Uh, I rolled 11 plus 4 plus plus 4 so yeah tw uh, 15 okay you hit roll your damage 4 okay do I add that, I add that other 4 it's, to it no <laughs> it's starting to look pretty beat up Jonathan it's your turn all right, um, I'm going to Mind Sliver it again. So that's a DC okay. 13 Intelligence Saving Throw. Minus another D4, right? Yep, and I rolled it off the table. Um, okay. So and minus another two. Okay, so 18, 17, 16, 15. Minus two D4? Yeah, or no, minus two okay. total. I rolled the D4. Oh, okay, I see you rolled it. Okay. So he rolled an 18, and it's minus three is 15, and then... So 13 he got. Well, that's the DC, so he made it. Okay. All okay. right. That's it. Turdovir. All right. Once again, I turn towards this beastie over here, and I try to hit him with my ribbon sword again. So let okay. me go ahead and see what we, we're doing here. Uh, okay, so... With a Eurythmic cry, so, cry uh, uh, attack cry, I roll 20. Oh, wow. Yeah, you definitely hit. And the damage is, oh, come on, man, four. Okay. Four damage. Got it. He's, you heard him. You took a sl another slice out of him. Yeah, take one of those eyeballs okay. out. <laughs> Zoe's turn. Okay, so I still have my spiritual mm -hmm. weapon. That's for five turns, I believe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, okay, it only it says I can only do one bonus action, so is, th is that not... Each turn you can do anymore? a bonus action. I'm sorry? <laughs> Each turn, you can do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, all right. Turn. So, let's go ahead and try again. Do the spiritual weapon again. Okay, rolled hit with the spiritual weapon. 
12. That just barely hits. Yay! <laughs> okay, and for damage, come on, give me a good one. Eight. Oh, wow, nice. You hurt him really badly. Yay! Really. And now for your spear, it's your weapon. Yeah. All right! <laughs> Happy daddy time! I got that 21, baby! Woo! I couldn't help myself. Wow. Yeah, that hits. Roll your damage. Five. You spear him right through the eye, right into the middle of his face. Right in the eye! Yeah, it, it, uh... It shakes for a little while and then it's uh, then it's dead. Yay! 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 All right. Okay. Well, now that that guy's gone, I found another box over here. <laughs> My favorite kind of treasure. I, I want to okay. lap up. How edible is it? Like, is it within within Jonathan standards? Um. Probably not. Yeah, make make an investigation check. Hold on real fast. Am I supposed 16. to cast Healing Word on uh, oh, Zoe? Zoe? You, you could eat some of the softer parts. Um, and oh, you, oh, you want to heal Zoe? Sorry, I'll finish your thing. Sorry. I'm done. It was purely for aesthetics and you want the snack. You want <laughs> the sweet meats. You're going to eat him. Um... Just a part. <laughs> Just the eyeballs. I, I got a thing for eyeballs. I'm assuming there's nothing inside it, like any treasure. No. I, okay. No. No, but there may be a spleen. The greatest yeah. treasure of all, snacks. It was the <laughs> friends you made along the way. Yeah. You, you ate yeah. along the, the way. The monsters you Faculty. ate along the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so real fast before we get going again, uh, I got to cast Healing Word, word on Zoe. Uh, uh, Oh, I think. Are you echoing in, in out of uh, out of Joe's microphone? Yeah. Did that help? Yeah. Much. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sometimes it echoes. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay. So I'm gonna cast Healing Word on Zoe. Okay. Okay. I I clicked cast, but it didn't do anything. Hold on. Um. Yeah. Then you just roll. You roll the healing for it. Okay. Cast. There we go. There it goes. Spell cast. Okay, regain one d four plus two. So and and healing word. I think you can do it at a distance, but usually you use cure wounds if you're clo up close. I don't cure have wounds cure. does more, but healing word you can do at a distance, like when you're in the middle of a fight. I don't have cure wounds. Oh, okay. No, I do not. Okay. Okay. So um, healing. Uh, uh, so it was. Well, where did it go? 1d4 plus 2, uh, 3 total. Okay. So so Zoe gets 3 hit points back. Yay. All right. Hmm. All right. Uh, we look around and see how many tunnels we have. Yeah. There are two to the east one to the north that you've kind of been around and you know it just kind of leads back to the huh. to the room that you were in okay. before all right i approach the two tunnels on the east okay. yeah i should be able to see all the way down to here is that another chest yeah yeah that is a um that looks like a doorway with a with a kind of a, a, a strange looking lock and if you get closer you can you can um you can investigate it a little more. I will get that close. Can I make a perception check to see if I can see if it's another mimic? Yeah, uh, roll, like that. roll your perception check. Okay, I hold up. I am in the. Is it dangerous? Place, I think. Uh, seventeen. Okay, um, so seventeen. It looks like the the lock has a cube shaped uh, impression in it. Ah. I told you, Jonathan, with that cube would be important. You quickly grew an unhealthy obsession for that. I did. I remember. Okay, sorry, real fast. Are Chodavir and Ralph and I in this correct room? Looks like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, looking at the door. Yeah. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. I just couldn't see Jonathan. Also, right, I'll, a few people. 
I'll hop up or flutter over and um, so it, it looks like it's beyond my ability without the box to pick the lock or can I try to pick it? Uh, yeah, you can try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anybody want to help? Yeah, I'll help. But I'm staring at you uncomfortably while I'm doing it because I still resent for you taking the box away. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're going to need the box to open this. So. Well, right. I'm trying not to bring that thing back out. But, you know, if you're getting the box, don't hand it over to me, bird. Uh, so that did not go that well. I got a 12. Okay. So looks like I'm going to need to go get the box. <laughs> yeah, it it, it, um, it doesn't seem to do anything. I Here, move away from... Why don't you guys go back in the other room and uh, I'll bring the box down and see if I can unlock this. <laughs> that way you guys uh, have to yeah, look I think at it, it again. I, volun I volunteer to go into the other room because... I know that the box was doing something magical to me and I'm like, okay, I'm compromised. So I'll go to the other room. Or like, yeah, like up here. So you don't see me come back with the box. Well, I'm in the other room, so. Okay. All right, I guess I'll, okay. If I'm not back in like five, five minutes, that means I got stuck trying to open the box. So you should probably come up and get it from me. Um, I'll be right back. We don't know where you are. <laughs> I'll be up. It's upstairs. Just just look for me. I shouldn't be too hard to find. Oh, in the other <laughs> level. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so as you you fly up there uh, and you dig out the box, make a uh, wisdom saving throw. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? Eight. Okay. Yeah. Um, there is something really important about this box, and and uh, Churdevere was onto something. You really need to open it. All right. Well, let's let's get to work. Okay. Uh, so make a uh, make a combined again uh, wisdom or I'm sorry, intelligence and dexterity check. Intelligence dexterity, plus dexterity make it disadvantage because you don't have hands. I've got mage hands. <laughs> oh, we never mind. Yeah, if you if you're using that, then go ahead. Uh, my dexterity was seventeen. Okay. And my intelligence was seven. For a total twenty four. Okay. Um, you're. This is this is a tough uh, tough challenge. Um, so in the meantime, minutes have gone by down below, and Jonathan did not come back. Uh -oh. I think that bird's been away for too long. Maybe we should go check out. He said he was upstairs, right, guys? Yes. Yeah, but the only one that can get up there is Musette. Yeah, I'm going. <laughs> oh, because she can fly, yeah. Yeah. Do you have anything that will improve your saving throws before you go up? I have no idea. I guess that's kind of metagaming, but... Uh, <laughs> Jonathan says... He would you come and help me? <laughs> okay, so what do you mean by save your... Well, like, I, I don't... Um, you like, if again? you're... You can sing to yourself, you know, because you're a bard, and so you can... Oh. Um, yourself that little bardic inspiration, and that might yeah. be saving throw. Stuff like that. Okay, so... Yeah, because I haven't used bardic inspiration, because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's basically like you're you're playing a song or doing a performance that inspires people so they can add to their roles. Okay, it's a bonus action, a creature other than yourself. Okay, so I can't oh, okay. do it for me, but I can do it for you, which might be helpful. So yes. okay. that's cool. I uh, can hear you gains inspiration die 1d6. You get a 1d6. For 10 minutes, the creature can add it to one ability check, attack, roll, or saving throw. Okay, so you flew up to the garbage, or you flew up to where Jonathan is? Yep. And, and where, Jonathan, where are you in the upstairs? Are you um, in the trash I, pile? I was, I was thinking the kind of like the garbage pile around the corpse in the, build, in the room the Otiag was in. I wasn't going to go oh, all okay. the way to the other room. 
Okay, I so think... there's not a lot of garbage. There's just like one dead body there because everything else kind of fell down. Well, st I stashed in his rib cage or something. Okay. Uh, so Musette, you fly up there and you see uh, Jonathan digging into this dead body. I missed a bird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, he I'm seems to be—he seems to be trying to manipulate this box, and he looks frustrated because he's not able to do it. Hey, Jonathan, do you maybe need a hand? Oh, I got one, and I make the glowing mage hand give her the finger. <laughs> <laughs> but a couple more might not help. Come on, help me get this open. Might it's not help. <laughs> we got to get this open. Okay. Well, can you bring it out of the that pile over there? No, mine. Okay, do you know what, dude? Just meet me here at the edge. <laughs> okay, deal. Come over here. Um, am I, like, like would I, can I do that? Um, am I in control of my faculties enough to move even if I'm, well, I'm trying to open the box? Yeah, yeah, you can do that. I mean, especially if, because you're, you're getting really frustrated with it, so maybe Musette can help you open it. I'm just, like, pecking at it. Yeah. Well, why don't we go take it back down and see if the others can help us. Mm. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Um... So do you do you have it where Musette can see the box now? Yeah. Okay, make a wisdom saving throw. Musette, right? Yeah. Yes. Wait, I I do a wisdom saving throw? Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, and that's a... Uh... So go over in the saving throws section where it uh -huh. says W-I-S, you click on the plus whatever that is. Yeah, it's just plus zero, by the way. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, 13, it's on here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you managed to shake it off. You uh, you felt uh, you felt compelled to go help him open it, but then you realize that uh, this thing's got a, some kind of a spell over over people over Jonathan, so you don't want to mess with it. Okay, so I guess what we should do is bring it back to everybody, <laughs> since it's given quite a few of us the heebie-jeebies. We'll just bring it back, and okay. we can all work on it together. All right, and you still have uh, you still have. A good nine minutes of playing time left. Um, am I in control of my faculties enough to like cast minor image over the box or minor illusion over the box? So it looks like I don't know, like a waffle or something, so the other people can't <laughs> see it when I go by. Well, but you're you're coming down there to help so that they can help you open it. Yeah. Okay. Guys, guys, look what I found. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everybody uh, in that room except for Musette and Jonathan needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Told you guys to go to the other I'm room. I'm very interested in that box. Okay. Uh, wisdom? Yeah. I have Austin, rolled Don't get it. Sheer DeVere gets close Ooh. to you. Cressa passed. She got a 20. I got a 20. You're good. Yeah, you you're uh, shaking it off. You're not you're not going to be fooled a second time by this thing. Fool me once, shame on yeah. you. Fool me twice, not going to be fooled again. Yeah, ten. <laughs> ten. Okay, so so Ralph, you really want to go help Jonathan solve this thing? Well, all right, Johnny, Johnny, let's go. <laughs> okay, uh, and what is uh what is everybody else doing? And Zoe, did you roll wisdom six. saving throw? What'd you six. get? Oh, six. six. Okay, yes. Yeah. Oh, Zoe, you also want to help. You're like, no, no, Give you're doing it wrong. Yeah. Give me that box! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, everybody hey, that chill. passed, are, you're seeing them like kind of squabbling over this thing, trying to get it open. Just get it, break it with the set's axe. That'll open it. What's that? 
Let's just hit it with Musette's axe and that'll open it. Oh. Well. No. You, you, get a, you get the sense that that's not going to work. Ralph, focus um, on your hand. We can't focus break on this. your hand. What is we it? We can't break this box. It's special. Yes. Okay. All right. So <laughs> everybody that's helping uh, roll... Roll intelligence and dexterity checks, and we'll add the two numbers together. Nah. Oh, wow. Oh. oh, wow. No, not a saving throw, just a check. Oh. Yep, so so Zoe got a 12 plus 6, so that's not enough. You You can't figure it out. This is like the Hellbound Heart black lacquered version, so you can't really, uh, you can't, it's hard to find even openings or, or finger holds to, to push in or pull it apart. My Ralph's intelligence is a 16 and the dexterity is an 18. Oh, wow. Uh oh. I, pull, that, I draw, Yeah, that's I, enough. Um, I, I do the wrong numbers all so, the time. So, Ralph, you, Ralph's kind of getting the hang of it. And, uh, He's starting to figure it out. Um, the Ralph, hand on my back is starting to squeeze. Ralph, snap out of it, buddy. Focus on your hand. Uh, we need that to open the door. Can you just give that back to Jonathan? I don't want to. Okay. Well, just. <laughs> I will bite you. <laughs> okay. Well, all right, buddy. Just take it easy. Uh, focus on your hand. I see that it's twitching a little bit. What, what do you feel when you focus on your hand instead of the box? It's hard to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> May, okay. Make a persuasion check. Me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Persuasion. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, man. I'm not very persuasive. I got oh, a five. Shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, Ralph's not listening to you at all. <laughs> but does it? Does anybody here have charm? Does anybody here can can charm this guy? Ralph I does. Think... Oh man, we're screwed. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was just thinking that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Hold up. How do I ignite my cloak? Um, I'm gonna throw a copy of myself somewhere. Tressa's gonna run mine. in and, and grab the box out of your hands. No. Uh, so who, who's holding it right now? Ralph. Is it just Ralph. I, I assume Ralph. Okay. And I'm like so, sitting on his shoulder, kind of poking at it with my beak, helping. So, so make a make a strength, or actually, you can make either a, um, you can either make a sleight of hand or a, um, or an ac athletics check, That's whichever cool. one, because she's gonna she's gonna just try to use brute force force and yank it out of your hand. So you can try to kind of, you know, do keep away with it, or you can try to just go no and just pull it, you know, pull it out of her hands. Oh. Oh, she got a natural one. My reaction. <laughs> yeah, so you have to you have to beat a four. So which one did you do, uh, Ralph? Okay, here it is. Oh, the on the twenty sided die. Yeah, you you can pick <laughs> either acrobatics or athletics, or I mean, or sleight of hand. Oh, uh, I got a nine. Okay, which one are you uh, doing? Slide of hand. Okay. Uh, yeah, nine. It didn't. Yeah, I mean, it's not a great one, but it's way better than what she did. So she sort of half-heartedly tried to grab it out of your hands, uh, and you were like, "Oh no, keep away!" <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so she's like, "Somebody get it, get it out of his hands." Okay, I try to wrestle that box out of his hands. Can I do that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. make a make a strength check. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Let me see. And how I can and do that. Ralph, you can do the you can pick sleight of hand again if you want to to say oh no. Uh, I roll again. Yeah. Okay. I have rolled fourteen. Okay. What did you get? What did Ralph get? Five. Okay, you, you managed to yank it out of Ralph's hands. Mm. All right, enough of this. Enough of this. Okay, I got the box. <laughs> okay, I go over to the door and I stick the box in the lock. Okay. 
Uh, you put the box in the in the lock, and the the door kind of glows for a second, and it rumbles, and it it opens, and it leads down to the next level. All right, guys, awesome. And that's where we'll we'll break for today. Oh man, Sweet. I had I worked so hard on that Cenobite. <laughs> <laughs> Technical producer Rob Danhauser. Score in Magica Cradle of Tersemet by Ben Warren. Character design Asya Yordanova and Bird Ninja Art. Additional illustration by Richard Kirk used with permission. Thank you for joining us and we hope you have subscribed. You can find the Clive Barker podcast wherever you find audio. Show notes for this episode, as well as news and reviews, can be found at our website at www.clivebarkercast.com. The Clive Barker Podcast, or BarkerCast, is an independent editorial podcast and blog that is not affiliated with or under contract by Clive Barker or Seraphim Inc. This is a labor of love by the fans for the fans. Watch for our annual Kickstarter fundraisers to get some cool stuff, and you can buy t-shirts on our TeePublic store. Go to tpublic.com and search for BarkerCast.